All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we are not late, actually. You know, we told you we will be at here at 4 p.m. supposedly. Uh, but there is one of you, he said, that there is a Shia Muslim is coming to debate me at 4.30. Uh, so I wanted to be here for this Muslim, uh, as he claimed that he want to debate me uh, now. So I don't know if he is uh, listening. If you are, please feel free to contact me. My Skype is open, and I will be happy to have you live on air. Uh, now it's 4.30, and supposedly he will be here. So let us see. You know, I don't believe really a Muslim is going to call me, but I don't know. This is what this guy, he said. Uh, he was convincing him to call me, and uh, he agreed to contact me today. So we will see if this is going to happen or not. Now the topic today is the same as usual, but always, you know, we question and we hope that there is some Muslims who have the courage and the knowledge for sure uh, to contact us and to show us that we are wrong regarding Islam. You know, Muslims always, they say that Allah is God. And I don't know, I have a hard time to find any reason for anyone to believe that uh, Allah is God. I mean, give me a reason to believe in such a thing. You see, God don't say stupid things. And I'm not insulting, you know. Uh, but, I mean, it's crazy what, what does God he say. You know what I mean? And we can find you endless uh, uh, quotation from the Quran uh, about this God saying stupid things. Now remember, not only the Quran is the one who says stupid things, it is Muhammad who supposedly he speak nothing of his own, which means he speak of his God. Uh, and I hope Muslims are not getting offended by saying speaking stupid things. Well, this is what it is. I mean, what I'm going to say. You know, you know what I mean? I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to say something is not there. I mean, if it's a stupid, the same as if I say something stupid, you say to me, well, you just said something stupid. Uh, this is not an insult. If it's an ins a stupid, it is a stupid. So when we when we ask Muslims why Allah is God, they start quoting for us uh, videos or articles, uh, or or they come to us with, with with the funny things, even more stupid, like miracle of number nineteen which is nothing but a fiction, and I challenge anyone, uh, you know, right now, if you, if you wish, uh, to prove it to me that uh, this 19 miracle is exist. And, you know, like, you know, the Muslim could not find me his God or any proof of his God, so he started looking for his own miracles. You know, like, isn't it funny that somebody want to tell me that uh, there is a, a certain number repeated in the Quran? I mean, isn't it? This is very silly, which is not even true. Do you think God, he want to prove to me that he exists by number 19? What about he make one miracle and that's it? What if I make a book right now and have uh, repeated numbers of whatever? Does that mean I'm God? And even that miracle which they claim is absolutely a hocus, and here we go. If there is any brave Muslim he dare to call me, please feel free. I would love to hear from you about any miracle of your choice. Anyone, any any choice. And you will see right away in a second how the Muslims are in this ability. The Muslims, this is this is the, the propaganda the Muslims they try. Uh, first of all, the Muslim right away, he would try to play a victim. As an example, you go on Facebook, you will see a Muslim says, uh, posting a picture he wrote in the top of it, I'm a Muslim and I don't hate the Christians. I mean, are you uh, are you a fool or you are a fool? What do you mean I am a Muslim, I don't hate the Christians? Muslim is somebody believe in the Quran, and the Quran says, Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians. Specifically, he named them by name. So what, what does that mean? I am a Muslim. I don't hate the Christian. What does that mean exactly? Are you trying to fool us? Are you, do, do you think we are stupid? Are you trying to, uh, to tell us that I am good, but Allah is bad? I, I'm not getting the idea. What is the point? 
the idea the first thing the Muslim he tried to do he play victim so he can get let us say some uh, support uh, you know and then right away you will see those naive uh, like Western they will start saying oh you know yes there is terrorists those terrorists are extremists those terrorists are not extremists those are good Muslims you know ex what extreme what extremists mean what extremists mean and trust me every one of those Muslim who say he don't hate the Christians in his heart he support terrorism and he wished the destruction of America he wished the destruction of Israel he wished the destruction of Japan he wished the destruction of any country don't accept Islam actually this is lawful prior in Islam to do nothing wrong with that according to Islam because their God himself he pray for destruction Their God, there's tons of verses in the Quran. Speaking about that, and by the way, this picture I have it in the front of the screen. I'm not making fun of this guy. No, I believe that this guy he have one billion time more wisdom than the one they call him God and the one they call him Prophet. Do we have any Abdul? Where is the guy who wanna call me at 4.30? My Skype is on. I'm not sure what the problem. And you know, I know, I know that uh, when a Muslim he say, like, you know, there's a guy, his name, uh, uh, Ambar Aram, but I don't know, Abram, we call him Abram. He said he is sitting, sitting his own show so he can debate me. Okay, you know what? I challenge you right now to open your show. I will call you right now. They are cowards. I, I wish you know. Give me a Muslim who 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 is welcoming me to call him. When when Shabir Ali is going to welcome a Christian prince to call him live on air. When not those kids. Your masters, they are scared and they are terrified. So the, the agenda of the Muslims is very simple. First of all, we make them feel that they are having Islamophobia. What Islamophobia? I mean, how many people just last year killed in Europe? How many? Any Muslim? Is that a phobia or those are real people who they are dead including children and women including Britnet women just today I was listening to the news uh, the you know uh, uh, the judgment for a guy uh, three Muslims three Abdul they were uh, planning to be head uh, what her name uh, the, the one who speak always against Islam uh, Pamela Pamela I forgot her name Giller so they're planning to attack her in her home and to behead her I mean and they said to you Islamophobia you see do you know how many people they insult Jesus every day in TV in the movie in the theater in a standalone comedy all those has come back and nobody go and behead them then we will not hurt any one of them of killing absolutely why aren't we men we have guns we have arms and actually Christians are very well armed especially in USA but we don't go and kill people because they insulted Jesus so where is where is those Muslims who try to present to us all the false fiction about the religion by playing victims i want i want one of them to call me now and play victim i want one of them to call me right now and show me he's a smart god or he's a smart prophet i want to see the intelligence of this religion
forget about Islam peace and this garbage we know that Islam is a is, is nothing but beheading and, and and filth and rape and and theft where is the Abdul who want to show us that we are wrong this is what I'm looking for so if you are a Muslim and you are interested to show us that we are wrong please feel free do we have any anyone in uh, in the chat and trust me I, I'm not I'm not going to insult you we are you know we are debating about the religion the debate is not about you and me I don't know you you do not know me you know it's not nothing personal right Uh, <clears throat> you know, always the problem always with Muslims that they are following a religion who teach you that lying is lawful. And deceiving is a method of life and telling something not too truthful is like you are a hero as long you are doing that with non-muslims so a Muslim he have not you know he is not required to be a, to be a good person he, he, there, is there if their God he, he say clearly that I I don't even care if you take false oath to the Muslims if their God he teach them that if you met someone he is not a Muslim you can lie to him and you can fool him and you can speak to him in a friendly way while your your heart is like this if this is their God what about the followers imagine So the, the problem uh, you as a Western or somebody coming from Asia or those who don't have expertise with, with the Muslims yet you assume right away when you see someone growing a beard like you know if I look at this picture here uh, this uh, this old man I'm not making fun of him by the way but for me as I, I'm coming from different culture you know different belief he looks strange for me right I assume if I speak to this man, whatever he look like, he might look funny for you, but I assume that he will be honest and he will speak to me what he believe. But we cannot assume that with a Muslim. The problem that you, when you see a Muslim, right away you think that it's okay, you know. I mean, uh, uh, you know, this guy is a he's a he's a sheikh, he's a sheikh. He's an imam. He is a mosque leader. So you assume that this guy is a holy man. He speak the truth, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like uh, he will not be uh, a person who spread lies. No way. It doesn't make sense. This is a leader of his religion. This is a this is the religious one. So you, you have in your mind that you have a person who is religious, so therefore he is going to be truthful, he will not say a lie. And this is how they can uh, deceive those Western who they are very naive and they got them in their trap. You know, the evil people always. They have a, they have their own way uh, in the society. Do you remember two days ago I made a video for a guy? His name is Head Boy. He's a redhead, you know, Western guy. I, th I don't know if he's an American or Canadian, something like that. Uh, this guy, I look at his videos. I don't think even he's a Muslim, but he noticed if he make a video about Islam. His video have like 12,000, 13,000, 15,000 view, view in one day. But if he make a video about something else, 
and I'm talking about Islam what about saying like amazing things about Islam so he you know he he take a video he didn't say anything I mean he take a video of a Muslim he plays it and he play it for you and he say isn't it this is amazing and right away the second day he got 14,000 because Muslims are like ants they support each other not like us here we play a video and then you, you hardly ask those people who they are listening to you can you share the video like you have to kiss their hand to share the video Muslim they don't do that the Muslims right away they share they like they post everywhere they work like like a crazy for the religion you will see a guy who opened an, an account yesterday about Islam and he is a Muslim and right away his account will have a 20,000 subscriber and you will see a Christian who is fighting Islam uh, I mean if they watch your video if they give it a like they don't even have the time to post a comment so people they you know there is there is the, the Satan always is there you know if you don't believe in Satan Satan is real Satan is not a joke if I post right now a video about a woman showing her ass excuse my language in the same account how many of you I'm going to have In less than six months I assure you no less than five hundred thousand maybe a million there's nothing there it's just a woman dancing showing her ass the devil my friend so we are fighting the devil we are not fighting Muslims and the devil and his babies they work they have their own network you know when a Muslim he sponsor his religion if you ask any Muslim any question about Islam he have no idea but yet he have no problem to take any video sponsor Islam and post it all over because this is his religion so you know this is why I remember once and I, I shared that with you before there's a Muslim he said to me you Christians you have a great you have you, you have you have a religion but many of you do not have faith we Muslims have faith but we don't have religion at that time I, I thought about it but I thought he's being fishy I mean like playing games you know and later I noticed what he meant exactly after knowing this guy more and more he is saying that Islam have nothing we are the Muslims we have dumb religion we have stupid religion but our system force us to be like a network and you have to do something otherwise they will accuse you of being not a good Muslim and that can lead to a consequence so everyone he have a duty to do otherwise he will look bad in the front of the rest for the Christians the story is different everyone he think he is his own individual and he don't care what people do and he do not need to support anyone and he it's not his job like there's a there's a guy his name is a Christian Prince he will answer the Muslims this is why I receive a lot of emails saying can you refute this guy can you? I mean this question is very silly and very stupid still they want they want Christian Prince to refute this guy they are not even willing to move their butt from from one inch to other inch because they are lazy they want everything for free they want Jesus to die for them. They want the Christian Prince to cru crucify it for them. They want Sam Shamoon to, to die for them. But they just sit and watch. And this is why we make a video at the end of the day. We don't find really how many, like few people share it. They are sponsored by the devil. And the devil babies, they work hard. And those who claim that they are following the true God, they are lazy. They don't care and most of them they are fake however it doesn't matter really how much Muslims they support their devil and their devil support them we defeat you and you are defeated and what we do here is a great example here we go this guy he said he want to call me at 4 30 and we are here at 4 30. We stay here for five hours, six hours sometimes, sometimes eight hours, saying, who is a Muslim want to call us? 
yet we cannot find one. Why? Because they are defeated. Because they knew that their God is a city God. They knew that their religion can stand only the place only if they are talking to someone who do not know Islam. So we can uh, give you a speech about the amazing prophet. Do you know, guys, that the prophet said, you know, you talk about, about beating women in Islam. This is not true, my friend. This is not the true. Do you know that the prophet said that, you know, uh, 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 like take care of your women? I mean, you know, you, you, let me tell you something, Abdul. Do I need a prophet to tell me that I should take care of my wife? Do I need a prophet to tell me that I should be good to my wife? Now, if your prophet is good to his, to, taught you to be good to your wife, what is good to your wife in Islam is? To give her bread? To feed her? Yes, that's, that's all. But in the same time, he told you to jail her. He taught you that even her fasting should be by permission from you. He taught you that if she even try to disobey, you can beat her. Or even she make a sound like of sound like disobedience to you. So what do you mean Islam says take care of your wife? The Muslims, as an example, they use the same language you use sometimes, and they try to fool you. They say to you, Islam is against adultery. But Islam is religion of adultery. Even the term Muhammad he used for marriage is not exist. It is the term nukah. And nukah means to F a woman. Nukah means to F a woman, not to marry a woman. The Muslim, they say to you that in Islam, if you steal, they cut your hand. That's true. But if you steal from a Muslim, Muhammad himself was a thief. And there is tons of hadith about Muhammad fighting with his followers over a sandal, over an underwear. Do you remember the story of Yafur? He killed the Jewish guy and he took his donkey and he took two sandals. Sandal, a sandal of a dead man. Who? The Prophet. This is the Prophet. So imagine the followers. Isn't it Muhammad he start his life by attacking the caravan? The Muslim, they will say to you, well, you know what? The, the, uh, uh, the Kuffar, they kicked Muhammad and his, uh, his, the believers from Mecca, so they are attacking to get their money back. You, this is a big fat lie. There's nowhere it says in any story that they took their property from them. And you know, at that time, there's no property anyway. I mean, what the property animals? A house you can build. It's made from mud. I mean, there's nothing. You, you, don't, you do not lose your villa. Those are a bunch of Arab. They have a small, tiny houses. And you can build one in two days. So what they took from them? To the point it deserved to attack and not only one caravan is not only two caravan caravan after caravan after caravan after caravan and what about the roman and what about the persian and what about attack attack in egypt did the egyptian attack you know stole from you money Muhammad was a big thief and his followers, they are thieves. Actually, Muhammad, he told them, you know, like, uh, uh, imagine he forbid them, he forbid them from doing farming. If a Muslim cannot do farming, so what he do for a living? What he do for a living? You see, at that time, there's no Microsoft. And there's no apple and there is a no industry in life is very simple either farming or growing some goats so if the muslims are not allowed to do farming how the muslims eat 
where they got their vegetables from. You know, uh, before I mention, the revolution of the Zinj. Anyone remember? In certain point, Islam became. You see, you see when when in Europe they start telling you about the golden age of Islam. You remember that the golden age of Islam, right? Do you know that the golden age of Islam is the golden age of slavery? Do you know that the city of Al Basra, in Iraq right now, used to be pure black African slaves? Do you know that the black African they used to be bigger population than those the white who live in Iraq? Which means every Muslim he owns like, like God knows how many slaves he owns. The slaves are more than the white Arab Muslims. This is the truth. This is the golden age of Islam. Attacking, kidnapping, raping, enslaving, and you know what? Even the slaves who came to Europe, they were kidnapped and captured by the Arab Muslims in North Africa. And as we speak today, there's 20,000 black African slave in Libya. Those are poor African trying to come to Europe and they are captured by the beautiful Arab Muslims. And if you don't believe me, it takes you two seconds to search in Google. That is the golden age of Islam. So what golden age those Abdul are talking about? Yeah, you know, I don't need to mention to you Yazidi and Christians. What about the Christians in the Middle East? Do you know what they did to the Christians too? Yeah. So the Muslims, when he speak to you, the first thing he do, he play a victim. And right away he say, oh, this guy is teaching hate. The second you start saying the truth, they accuse you that you are saying and teaching hate. Why I'm teaching hate? Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul would like to call me? Any beautiful, brave Abdul, he liked to get me busted. I like to get busted, if it is possible. Hmm? Even when a Muslim he want to debate you, do you know what he want to debate about? He want to debate about the Trinity. To avoid, to avoid speaking about all the filth of Islam, can we debate about the Trinity? You see, if there is a Trinity, there is no Trinity. It still, is not. This is not responsible for killing and beheading Abdul. Let us say, for the sake of, I mean, why the Muslim he concentrate too much about the Trinity? He says to us, our God is one. One what? Your God is one what? The Egyptian God is one. The Sabian God is one. There's many religions in the world, they have one God. Even those who have a church, it's called the Church of Satan. They have one God. His name is Satan. So? They try to take you away from all the, the filth of Islam to make it about if it's one God or, you know, the Christian believe in one God too. 
Do you remember? <laughs> I saw a video of the, the funny guy, the dead guy did that. He said that the Jews, they believe in one God. How come the Christians believe in the Trinity? And I saw the same comment from many stupid Muslims. Thank you, Muslims, for saying that. I wish I can play the video of those Muslims saying that because <laughs> that is a proof that your God is a liar too. Because as long as you admitted that the Jews, they believe in one God, and you just said that the Jews don't be, do not believe in a trinity, well, then how you explain to us what the Quran is saying here as an example? As an example, not necessarily. Hmm? Go and see how many Muslims they keep saying to you, the Jews, show me in the Old Testament, my friend, huh? where it says there is a trinity. How many how many times you saw that uh, challenge? Huh? Just to show you how dumb, how stupid they are. If you go in the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 30, it says, The Jews call Uzair the son of Allah. What? <laughs> I thought you are saying that all the Jews they believe that there is no Trinity. And believe in one God and they don't believe in some God of God this is what the Muslim they say to us because every Muslim and again I'm not insulting he is a donkey until he proved the opposite and I could not find one he do prove the opposite so they are copy paste one donkey of them he said one day well, show me where in the Old Testament there is a three trinity. And then you ask him, is that, are you saying that this is the true belief should be? I mean, this is the right thing? He say yes. And the Jews, they have the true belief. But your God, Allah is saying something different. So who is the donkey here? You, Allah, or who? And you know what? If we look in the whole Torah, we will not find there is a guy. His name is Uzair, and he is supposedly worshipped by the Jews as the son of Allah. First of all, the Jews don't believe in Allah anyway. Number two, who is this guy, Uzair, who is the son of Allah? Can somebody give me his phone number? Can somebody find me where we can find this verse in, in the Torah? You see, the Muslims, they were able to find the name of Muhammad in the Torah, but they cannot find Uzair. Muhammadim, Muhammadim, Muhammadim. I mean, Muhammadim, did you see Muhammadim? But but the Quran said that the name we should take it. Sorry, guys, those guys are laughing. But, but you see, even the Muhammadim story is stupid because the Quran said that the name of Muhammad should appear in the New Testament because Jesus said that there's a prophet after me will come, his name is Ahmad, not Muhammadim. To is that verse is wrong Muslims chapter 61 verse number six it says that Isa he said there is a messenger he will come after me and his name shall be Ahmad so who is Muhammadim <laughs> Muhammadin how are you doing do you know Mr. Ahmad I know I did not see him so you guys are like related or something? No, I'm not. He's Ahmad and Muhammadin. This is what the Quran says that there's a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmad. So what happened to Muhammadin then? What we will do with it is now? Are we going to change the Quran to make it Muhammadin? So now we are going to change the verse from Ahmad to Muhammadin. So I'm going to add here. Huh? I'm going to add a new name for the Quran. I'm not. I'm not uh, doing any corruption. Absolutely, this is what what the Muslims believe. 
here we go here in the top of Ahmad we will type Muhammadim Muha ma dim are you happy Muslims what do you say huh I mean you see it doesn't matter where you go I mean this is the most stupid religion and it is an impossible mission to find somebody who is smart and he want to use his ass, I mean his brain. Every Muslim, his brain is in his testicles or in his ass in case it's a woman. The Muslim man, all his focus is in his penis and his testicles. Allah will give me 72 versions and will make my penis endless. Are you sure, Abdul? Absolutely. Anything else? He have no idea. He is a copy paste. Now, where is the Muslim who said he wanna debate me today? You see, I changed my time uh, to do tomorrow. I have a flight. Oh boy, I like Muhammadin. Do we have any Abdul here? Did you see this guy yesterday? He was posting. His name is Abraham. And he paused today again and he insists that Adam is not the first man do, do, you, do you understand why I say every Muslim is a donkey until he proved the opposite until now the Muslims are in this agreement if Adam is the is the first man or not I mean what's wrong with this religion they, they cannot even agree about Adam so this guy and his friends they are posting in YouTube and making an article that Adam is not the first man he is the ancestor the, the ancestor of other 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 people other nation why you say that Abdul why why because the Quran says so the Quran said I okay, hold, hold on hold on let me let me find you the the video so we can read the comment together just for fun you know for, uh, there is a program it's called for a love and I think the Muslims they fit perfectly there. Hold on. Let me see where I can find the post of this guy. <coughs> uh, where is his post? I mean, this is weird. Each time I open the, the thing to find his post, is gone. Where is his post? Let us see. Where is, where is, where is? maybe in the previous one hold on not this video okay you see because there's many videos i have so i received notification was i saw i saw his post um video Anyway, in his post, he is he is a, a posting for me, uh, and and for you guys supposedly, that uh, Adam is not the first man. If somebody can see the post, let me know. You know, give it to me so we can open it and read it together. Until now, they don't know, and they cannot agree, if Adam is the first man or not. I mean, this is a simple thing. Muslim themselves don't agree if Adam is the first man if you go right now and search in the internet You will find many Islamic websites saying Adam was the first man to be created And you will find many Islamic websites saying no Adam was not the first one to be created And we showed you yesterday the hadith where Muhammad he say as usual he make poo, poo you know If you remember this hadith here We just mentioned yesterday how Allah he created us How Allah he created us he hit the shoulder of Adam and bingo all of us we came in one from his 
from his penis. This is it all of us? <laughs> Immediately, all the billions of those human beings they came right away by the head of Allah when He whipped the back of Adam. By the way, guys, this is a true story. You know. Uh, once me and Allah we were like together, you know, you know, we joke together sometimes You know Allah and me we are Arab both so like we have connection not like you <laughs> we speak Arabic as you know So I, he was talking to me and by mistake he whipped my back and guys you will not believe what happened You will not believe my happen like Babies start coming like like I mean like ants <laughs> I didn't know even how to stop the babies. They were coming like crazy. Billions, millions. And I was like, what happened? I mean, why all those babies are coming? And then Allah, he told me, I just whip your back. What? So what, what was the purpose of creating Eve? If Allah he hid the back of Adam and then all of the spring of Adam came So Eve was what was a was a do you think do you think was uh, Eve like a sex fiction st stuff? So Adam was having Eve uh, for sex, but in fact he was not <laughs> Eve was getting pregnant from by what I mean what the point of uh, Eve? So what the story of Eve get a pregnant and they have she they have two kids and their kids They fight each other and one of them killed the other one. So what is the story is about? Which story is the correct one? This is story coming from Muhammad or the other story coming from Muhammad copying the, the Christians and the Jews? And then Allah, he placed all the offspring of Adam in front of him. Oof, oof, me. Guys, you see, you, you always talk that the Western they are the one who came with the like uh, high-tech and you know those things but the fact no Imagine the face recognition Tool Adam was provided with by Allah you see Apple right now. They just made one for their phone But the fact by the way the, the face recognition the the first one to create I think it was an Israeli company so uh, Look what happened after Allah he hit Adam in his vase Sorry in his back. I mean what vase? See Christian Prince now is corrupting the hadith. He said face, but the fact is his back You see what the Christians do here we go So he hit him in his back So what happened after that my friend? all the human being from the beginning of the time to the end of the time came out I mean, what is that going to be like a 100 billion human being? Because now we are talking about those who passed before us. All the billion of people, they die. You know, remember, right now we are what? Seven or two, eight billions? All of us, we will die in 70, 80 years from now. It doesn't matter, you know? But how many billions we are talking about? They are placed in the front of Adam after Allah, he whipped his back. From the beginning, his offspring, from the beginning of time to the until the day of resurrection. Eesh, eesh, eesh. Let us say, for the sake of argument, this is 100 billion only. Just only. Look, guys, look what happened. And after that, Allah, He placed a ray of light. Between the eyes of every person Oof. Did you watch the 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 uh, What it's called the game of the throne? There's a guy his eyes like start shining. He's like the devil something like Oof. Oof. Man, I cannot I cannot forget that then he showed them to Adam Oof. 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 100 billion a human being in the front of Adam and Adam is looking like who is this and who is that? Oh, this is a Christian prince. I hate a Christian prince I, And look what happened I mean this is really Hold on hold on. I think we are missing something here 
We need the background music. Once upon the time, there was a guy, his name is Adam. And by mistake, Allah, he hit his back. And right away, all the offspring came out. Billions, trillions, including me. And then Allah, he placed a ray of light on the eyes of those offspring. And he put them in front of Adam. And Adam start looking and looking and looking. Commercial break. If you have a bad eye vision, we advise you to buy our sunglasses. They protect you from every light of ray or every ray of light, even if it's coming from the seven heaven by the seven galaxy from 7-Eleven store. You can find our sunglasses in every 712 store between 7-Eleven and 713. Thank you very much for watching. We go back to the topic. And then Allah, after he placed the offspring of Adam in front of Adam, Adam, he starts scanning using his face recognition software in the speed of light. And from the billions and the billions and the billions of the billions of the billions of the billions, Behind the billions and the billions of the billions, he saw someone. He saw someone he have different ray in his eyes. Commercial. If you like to buy sunglasses of David, please contact us right away. Our phone number is Jerusalem for the Jew, 1-800-CALL-NOW. End of commercial. And then the prophet Adam, he saw an amazing ray between one guy's eyes. He was looking at him and he said to himself, what the hell? Who is this guy? Is it possible that this is James Bond? Or this is Mr. Trump. And he was wondering and wondering. And then he said to Allah, Who is Ray between his eyes amazed him? He said, Oh Lord, who is this? Who is this? Please tell me. Commercial. If you like to know what is the name of the person we are going to read for you soon, please right now immediately purchase mickey mouse movie which islamic halal movie where the mujahideen they are chasing mickey mouse for he is against allah for he is the enemy of allah please purchase the movie and watch immediately and don't forget to make a donation to build the halal mosque in the vatican praise be to allah allahu akbar we continue end of commercial and then Adam he asked Allah who is this Allah Allah please tell me who is this and Allah said to Adam no 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 don't ask me don't ask me Adam he said why please please tell me look at his eyes there's an amazing ray between his eyes and then Allah, he found that there's no choice but to tell Adam. And he had to do so because this guy was a Jew. And then he said to him, this is a man from the later nations of your offspring. His name is David. Oh boy. 
here we go back to the Jews again I mean look at this guys there's billions and trillions of people in the front of Adam but Adam he spot only one guy he could not even recognize the Christian Prince even though I have a lot of beautiful x-ray in my eyes you will should, you should see it you will not believe it how beautiful it is actually once I opened the safe of somebody by using the ray of my eyes I mean, isn't it? This is a true story. Adam is watching the billions of people. God knows how many billions, 100, 200 billions. And he is scanning all the faces, but he spot only one guy. I wish I can make a cartoon about this. Like imagine you have people like ants. Have you ever watched a movie like, you know, a war movie? Where like uh, two army facing each other, like each army like have 500,000 soldier with with swords hmm? imagine we have a number of trillion more of those people and adam was able to see an eyes an eyes not a face look 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 at this look um this is a very true story adam was able to spot the eyes of david from between all the billions of eyes and he insists to ask allah who is this guy please tell me who is this guy no, 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 I want to know who is this guy. And I was really amazed that Adam did not see the eyes of Muhammad because I was expecting him to say he saw the eyes of Muhammad. <laughs> oh, oh boy, unbelievable. Oof. Oof. That's so beautiful. The story, it must be true. If there is any Muslim here would like to call me. Anyone? If there is any Muslim really would like to call. Any proud Muslim? And the story is not over yet. Then later you will find that David here, because he liked this guy, Seriously, you like him. I mean, look at this. Like Adam is it's a stalking, a stalking David. Look, look at his. This is the this is the beginning of the story. Adam he said to Allah, uh, he said, uh, Lord, 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 here, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, how long did you make his life span? Look at this conversation, man. Adam sitting having coffee with Allah. I mean, like, look at the conversation here. Adam is a question. Allah, hey Allah, how long will live this guy, uh, David? Huh? I mean, hold on, hold on. Adam was in heaven. Why he's asking about how long he will live? I thought heaven, there's nobody die. How we know that the people they are dying? <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Let it go, man. Anyway. So how, how how long you made his life span? He said, Allah said, look, you see Allah, everything is calculated. 60 years. Oof, oof. I mean, not even 60 years and one day. That said, 60 years in his birthday, the 60, David, he died. <laughs> you know, <coughs> heart attack. 60 years. Does that mean that David he is born the same day he born is the same day he die. Is that Monday? <laughs> hey, by the way, Allah created Adam in a Friday and he died in a Friday. Do you know that? Oof, oof, oof. True story. <sighs> I receive a text here. Don't, don't guys text me unless there is something like important. Because there's no Abdul is here. Please make some line. What line? I need to translate this word. Mean you know, make some limelight about Muhammad, children. What what limelight mean? Is that a lime like a lemonade? 
I mean, who care about Muhammad's children? Muhammad have no children. Who told you he have a children? Who told you that Muhammad have a children? Muhammad is a potent man. He cannot make babies. None of those called the children of Muhammad are his children. None, not even the girls. Those are the daughters of Khadija. Didn't you ask yourself how come Muhammad he have only from Khadija kids? You see, they say to you that he have he made the Mary the Copt Bretnet. This it's a lie. Mary the Copt was a slave and she was accused that she is sleeping around. Even Umar Khattab he went to kill Ibn Juraj because they were not sure who is the one who who was sleeping with her. And I can show you the hadith where Muhammad he asked Aisha, don't you look like me? Aisha, she said to him, I said to you many times, he have nothing to do with you. <laughs> yeah. How Muhammad is going to have babies if he imagine himself having sex? Anyway, let it go, let it go. Focus in the head of the snake, my friend. Who care if Muhammad, who is the baby of Muhammad? You see, if you want to focus in something to fight this cult of Islam, his children is not our problem. He has or he has not will not make any difference. Focus in the devil. Don't hit the tails. I notice that many, when they are going to supposedly to talk about Islam, they focus in things is is not really important. And it doesn't hurt Muhammad whatever you say about his kids anyway. I mean, so what the point? Focus in Muhammad. So do we have any Abdul? Any brave Muslim? By the way, if you say any brave Muslim, they get insulted. If you say any coward Muslim, they get insulted. If you say any smart Muslim, they get insulted. If you say any stupid Muslim, they get insulted. So it doesn't matter what you say, they get insulted. The second you start quoting a verse from the Quran, they get insulted too. Guys, don't text me in Skype unless you want to call. You want to call, you call me. If you have a question, text in the chat. Otherwise, I will block you. Don't text me in Skype. We have a chat here. There's no uh, no need for private messages. Do we have any Abdul? Hello? So our, the title of our topic is, if Allah is smart, how come he says stupid things? Who is here a Muslim? He disagree with me that Allah he don't say stupid things. Anyone? Who is a Muslim is willing to show me something, anything, just one. One thing Allah, he said, is smart. And there's a one condition too. Uh, he did not copy from somebody else. Like, don't quote for me a quotation said by Jesus and say that Allah, he said so. Hmm? Show me one thing is coming from your God, Allah is smart. Anyone? As an example, I want to show you example of this of the intelligence of Allah. First of all, you know that all of us as Arab, and you know me as an Arab, we are the smartest people ever in history. Yes, this is true. You know, actually, me myself, I was number one student in my classroom. It's true that I was the only student there. But that will not deny the fact that I was the first and the most smart student too in the classroom. I mean, think about it. Is it my fault that there's no other student? So I am the number one in the classroom, what I can do. So I'm not lying, this is true. And that is the scenario 
of the God of Islam. He is the smartest student in a classroom, have no students. So like, it's like the similarity between Allah and Christian Prince, both of them, they used to be in one classroom together. Actually, I mean, next to each other in, in two classrooms, but and there is no student other than themselves. If we go in the Quran, just to give you an example about the intelligence of Allah. <sighs> I hope I hope people will not convert to Islam after I show you the, the special intelligence of Allah. I hope so. I mean, seriously. And, and you know, one day, once I was in India, and I was making a speech about like a, a half, this is a true story, by the way. True story, very true. Uh, in the front, like 5,000 uh, 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 Hindu. And I told them, do you know that the biggest uh, chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter? The second I said so, all those Hindus, they converted to Islam. <laughs> I will never do such a mistake again. Anyway, I, I, by the way, I love the Hindu people. I have, I have many good friends of them. That's enough. Let us see the intelligence here. Look at this. Chapter 16, verse number 79. Allah explaining the law of a gravity. Why, why the birds are not falling down? I mean, who is, how they can fly? I mean, this is science. Look what Allah said in the Quran. This is deep. This is really a hell of a deep. Look at this. Uh, I mean, what happened to this thing? I did hold the. Suddenly it zoomed. Let us find. Hold on. Chapter 22, verse number 65, we go to Yusuf Ali. He is the one who hold the sky from faith. Look, guys, look, look in the translated, they say, the translation between the two bracket, the rain. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Abdul, the verse here is speaking about the rain. Are you sure? Who is the sure Abdul that he is speaking about? Where, where do you get the rain from? The rain fell on us, you idiot. Allah is holding the rain from not failing on us. As I know, just two days ago, we have a lot of rain here. So what do you mean Allah is holding the rain from not failing us? Unbelievable! Change, change the translator. Change the translator. Let us see. Is it really? Is it really? He's holding the rain, or it is something else? And the Muslims trying to cover the stupidity of the Quran. If look here, the word rain disappear in this translator. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> This Muslim Abdul, he missed the point. How come in the other translation it was rain? Here there is no rain. <laughs> huh? This is about rain. Must be true science. Must be true science. I mean, think about it. It is Allah, He is holding the sky from falling on us. Okay, you know what? I'm going to see the interpretation of this verse from the Muslim scholar. Let us see how the Muslims they get away with this. Chapter 22, verse number 65. 22, 65. All right. The rain, huh? Mm, yeah. The rain, yeah. See, like what happened to the rain? There's no rain. Tafsiru al-Jalalain. Have you not seen, realized that God, 
this post for you all that in earth of the beast and the ships run upon the sea for transport and carry loads what by his command <laughs> so are you telling me that the airplane carrier of the marines in the sea is working by the command of Allah not be true story by his leave and he hold back the heaven lest it should fall on earth <laughs> see in the Muslim translation they lie to us and they say this is about rain did you see it this is why when I say to you, don't ever trust a Muslim translation, they are a bunch of liars. I have my serious reason. They don't. And they will never give you a true translation. It is against Islam to give a true translation. Another example of the smart things Allah has said. Look at this. <sighs> I know, I know uh, which one I'm going to show you. Hold on, hold on. Let us see this one. Hmm. All right. What is holding the birds from falling down in the ground according to the intelligence of the God of Islam and the Prophet Muhammad? Chapter 16, verse number 79. All right. Let us make it bigger so you guys can read it better. Is the text clear? Can you guys still read on YouTube in the small screen in the phone? Those who have a phone, can you see it? Is it clear? Now, before we go to uh, actually, it, it, it's all right, you know, as long as we are here. Uh, according to the uh, Quran, I remember I am not the one uh, who is, uh, uh, you know, like uh, making the translation or uh, this. I'm just reading for you. I mean, nothing, as you see, nothing of my made. I'm just reading for you, providing you with what the Quran is saying. So if we go to chapter 16, verse number 79, and we can go to any translation you wish, it doesn't matter really for me. It says the following. Do they not look at the birds held poised in the midst of the sky? Nothing holding them but the power of Allah. False translation. It says nothing holding them from falling down but the power of Allah. So according to the Quran, let us change the translator, and you will see right away how the translation change, how the words change. It's a magic. It is a magic, my friend. Hmm? Which which one we click and hold on? Uh, which one? Uh, Yusuf Ali, we saw right. Let us see, Bigtal. Okay, Bigtal. Have they not seen the bird obedient in the mid of the air? None had helped them save Allah. Lu. <laughs> I like it when the Muslim they put in the English translation Lu. This is why the birds are not feeling down. Is that really the reason? Mm. I see. Aha. Hmm. Must be true story. Huh. 
very interesting actually in the same chapter we have another stupid thing Allah he said in the Quran the Quran said that the uh, you know the the way the Quran present things to us is kind of funny and stupid but you need to have a sharp nut eyes let us say sharp deep thinking and fast thinking to notice what is the problem when Allah he speak about the the bees he speak about describe the honey it's very important to describe the honey you will see in this chapter chapter 16 verse number 69 it says the following Allah speaking about the bees Allah he inspired the bees bees Allah he is the one who taught the bees who Allah he taught the bees where to live okay what Allah taught them let us see he told them to build their cells in hills and on trees Abdul bees they build their their houses everywhere what are you talking about in the roof in the wall in the bushes sometime even in the sand what are you talking about anyway let it go let it go and he told them then to eat of all the product of earth if 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 are you sure abdul this is what it says in the whole are you sure eat all of the all produce of earth as I know this is not what the Quran is saying let us go back forward a little bit different translator hmm ah here we go see what the Quran said he didn't say all the product of the earth use liar it says then eat of all the fruits all right many they might not notice here what is the error in this verse bees don't eat from the fruits you see me as a human I eat fruits so that is true to say eat from the fruits bees don't bees what they do those who go between the trees and etc those are called working bees they don't eat the fruits and they don't eat anything they collect the nectar and then they bring it back to the hives and then there there is a processing for whatever they bring to make it food and that is the honey so the god of islam he is saying that the bees they eat fruits and they do what they poo poo honey <laughs> look what it says then eat from all the fruits and walk in the way of your lord submissively then come forth from within it a beverage of many color <laughs> this is a false translation here again it doesn't say from within it it says from it is billy you see every translator he's a scumbag it doesn't matter who here we will find that this guy he had a true translation about the fruits and the other guy he did not put the fruit here he lie he said from within it that's a lie it was her belly and what come from her belly a beverage of many colors which is healing for men so the stupid God of Islam, he is teaching us that bees, they eat a fruit, they shit honey. Did you get it, Abdul? I mean, isn't it, this is a serious science? <laughs> so the stupid God of Islam, come on guys, show respect. Please. He think that bees they shit honey 
and they don't need it. And a human being, they eat their shit. So they eat a fruit, and from their ass, it comes the honey. Isn't it? Isn't it a beautiful science? I mean, look at this. If the God of Islam is not Arab, there is no way he will get such an intelligent. I mean, this is very advanced. We have to admit, we have to think about it. If you change the translator, or you know what? Why would I change the translation? Let us see the interpretation of the verse. Can we? Chapter 16, verse number 69. Because the Muslim, they might say, uh, you know, he's, he's giving you false translation and false uh, explanation. You know, you know, Abdul. Huh? Yeah, let us not do, let us, let us jump over this drama of, uh, you know, he is making his own. It doesn't say that, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right. Let us see what the Muslim's interpretation says. All right. I hope all the text now is showing. Let us see a little bit more. Bingo. All right. <sighs> we are speaking about. All right. Here we go. You see, when I say to you, Billy, I, I am not lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. All right, all right. So Allah, He told the bees to go and eat from the fruits. Then eat from every kind of a fruit. And by the way, guys, bees, they eat from every kind of a fruit. As I know, they never eat any fruits. That is a bunch of a stupid statement. And then He says, and there is a liquid which is coming from their belly. Does it say billies? Yes, there comes forth from their billies a drink, namely honey, of diverse hues wherein is a cure for ma mankind. Muslims, why nobody want to explain to me why Allah is so smart? I'm seriously in trouble I never thought your God is so intelligent like this I mean this is surprising any Abdul who is a Muslim would like to call and give us some honey from his belly And now the Muslim they will start saying to you, "Oh, do you know that the bees they have two, uh, uh, they have two stomach? This is not a stomach, Abdul. The bees, they have a container specially for the nectar where they save the nectar, and this is this is not where the honey is coming from. The honey is made in the tongue. In the tongue of the bees, they have a tube. So the worker bee." She sucked the nectar, she collected, she have a storage for it, and then she give it to other working bees in the hive. Other than the one who collect, they are different. And that one, she vibrate, or let's say she have a, a, a certain processing for that nectar, and that will convert the sugar of the bees to be what is called honey. According to your God, the bees eat a fruit and they shit honey. That is a honey shit. Any Abdul? <clears throat> uh, disappointing. Hold on. Now, where where is the guy? Where is the guy who told me that he have a Muslim for me to debate me? Where I mean, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to. Uh, uh, to, to you are fired you are fired seriously you made me come and you know we change the timing so that Abdul will show up and here we go there's no Abdul what I will do now what is the Abdul who is the Abdul want to call us 
Unbelievable. I'm so disappointed. I'm going to do what the Prophet Muhammad did. I will go to the top of the mountain. I will try to commit suicide. Have you even even he heard? You see, the, the Muslim they say to us that your God he commits suicide. <laughs> why, Abdul? Why? Why our God he commits suicide? Why he called the Jews? He said, "Come arrest me and kill me." No, he know what they will do, but he's not a coward to run. But your God, he walked with his own feet up to the mountain, climb in the mountain. God, Allah knows how many hours it took him to climb the mountain, and then he tried to jump from the mountain. But each time, thanks to Allah. Each time he tried to jump, Jibreel appeared to him and he said to him, Brother, don't do it, brother. You are a truly, truly, you are a troll prophet. Any comment? Yeah, my Skype is on. I can turn it off if you want. And Abdul. You do not need to add me just I, I don't add any people no more because it, it's full I have no space to for adding uh, Skype send me a message you say, they said to me you have too many fat people I don't know which one of you is very fat but obviously some of you are very fat and the, the, the Skype cannot take no more one mile ass the promise of Allah for every one of us if we convert to Islam how beautiful it is to have a woman and a lot of them and each one of them her ass is one mile I mean this is this is my life dream one mile ass I mean don't you think it's really small seriously isn't it too small why one mile I mean what what Allah will lose if you make it two mile or 80 mile I mean come on you made it big and you made it big make it really big size one mile I mean how cheap Allah is What if somebody he like it bigger? Think about it. You have a woman, or like seventy of them, and each one of them he she have one mile ass. Total is not even seventy two mile asses. This is nothing. I mean, <laughs> hello. I am looking for God. I'm going. I don't like Allah. I'm going to look for Allah, uh, for a different Allah. He have. Better offer he can give us like a woman here ass is like 100 mile man And you know I can give like I can make a business Hiking in the top of the ass of the Abdul and you know because it's very smooth because remember Anyone remember how long Allah took him to smooth the skin of the virgin in the heaven? Anyone knows how long Allah take him to smooth the skin of every virgin in the heaven who knows let us see how many of you are doing his homework. Anyone knows? How, how many years? Just to, to, to make it smooth. 1,000 years. You believe it? I mean, 1,000 years Allah is working. You see, the Muslim, they say to us, if Allah, he wants something to happen, he say, be is going to be. <laughs> Abdul, what happened to the bee is going to be? It took him 1,000 years to make your wife, one of them, just one, each one. 1,000 years to make her skin smooth. Why? She is an alligator? I mean, can't your God buy some Vaseline? What's wrong with her skin? 1,000 years to make her skin smooth. Why? Was she a hippo? Was she? Seriously. This is why her ass is so big. She was a hippo. She wasn't. <laughs> you, you must be right. One, what's up? Unbelievable. Okay, we have a caller. Hello. Hello. Is yes. This CP. Yes. Oh, hi. It's the Viking lady. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I don't know if you spoke about this earlier because I was an hour late. Uh, I just came in when you were speaking about the bees. Yeah. Um, and I noticed that when I've been debating with Muslims, there's always something about the bees and they also speak about the flying animals with two legs. Do you know where it is? Because it just came to mind. 
and I wondered if you have anything to say about that. Flying animals with two, uh, two legs? There is something where they talk about uh, animals and they try to say that it goes against uh, all creation and uh, that this has to be with bees and there's also animals with two and four legs flying and stuff like that. And yeah. it just came into my mind and I couldn't remember what it was, but... Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what, because there's many stupid things in the Quran. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, well, let us see here. Uh, hold on. If we go here, there's like a... Um, stories about sometimes those search engines are not really good you know I I, mm -hmm. uh, I can grab it faster mm. all right you will see there is the Quran speak about animals who fly and animals who uh, they they creep all right Mm -hmm. uh, all right, here. As an example, chapter twenty-four, verse number 40, 45 and we will go to the to the one you are talking about. Okay. It says here that Allah He created from a, every creature from water. Some of it walk on it is billy. Now in Arabic. Walk in its belly is a stupid statement. Nobody says that because when you, if you creep, you don't walk. No. Okay. This is this is what they say in English, right? Creep. Yep. Yeah. So here, So here you will see the Muslim. If you go to the translation, <clears throat> and Allah has created every animal from water. Of them, there are some. That they creep on their bellies, and some that they walk on two legs, and some that they walk on four. Allah created that what He wills. Now, if this is what Allah creation is, what about the rest? Number number one, the, the first mistake. Here, the translation they lie. They change the word yamshi. They make it a creep. When it, when in the Quran it says walk, that's the first mistake. Secondly. Some of them they are two legs and some of them they are four. Now, do you know how many animals they have a lot more legs? As mm -hmm. an example, how many legs the spider he have? Uh, eight. How many legs? There's the, you know, I don't know what the name for it in English. Those, Skull, uh, those, the insect, and the... those insects, they have a lot of legs. Yeah, the scallop and there. Yeah, like... once I have a friend of them, those insects, was, I invited her to come to my birthday party and I asked her, <laughs> why you are late? She said, you forgot I have to wear 44 shoes? Exactly. <laughs> you know, so it was like horrible. I mean, like everybody's waiting, <clears throat> but took her forever to wear her shoes. So Allah de decided how many legs is his creation. So what about the rest? What about the mm -hmm. rest of animals who they are? Because he make it clear here that there is some they creep and they don't have legs. Mm -hmm. And they, But he used the word walk. And he said there is two and, and two legs. And some in four, but is that really what's happening? Uh, and regarding uh, flying, let us see. Uh, let us see. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember which one, the one you are talking about. Yeah, and I, of course, cannot remember. It was just, it hit my mind when I came in and you were speaking about the bees. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. <clears throat> I'm getting old. That's all. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and I'm new and old. Yeah, but uh, you know, like I'm drinking more honey, so I think by tomorrow I will get. I will be. <laughs> you you have to have your camel urine and your date. No date honey, as honey. Well. I prefer <laughs> I prefer honey, which is coming from the billy. Uh, oh, yeah. Let us yeah. see. Uh, oh, holy shit! Let us see. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm really trying to find which which verse you are talking about. 
I, I know exactly actually I, I know what you are talking about uh, <clears throat> man have you ever like uh, see something like this when you like want something you don't find it mm -hmm. okay hold on let us see there is many stories which is funny, but uh, the one you are talking, I don't remember the verse exactly. Um, but, but I do believe it always comes up when we speak about uh, Alec <laughs> and God creating every animals and asking them, why did he create the pig and save the pig? Yeah. When they're not allowed to, why? When it's so unclean and stuff like that. I can't even remember it. You see, as as if it's like whip. I think it's a miracle from Allah because Allah He said in the Quran that Allah <laughs> he, Allah He will cause us to forget the Quran. <laughs> 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 look, ah, look yeah. like it's happening for me now. If you can't find it, maybe you can do like a video about it when you find it. Yeah, it's okay. No, not a big deal. Uh, but you know, there is tons of errors, but. Uh, the one you are talking about is kind of funny uh, but I can't remember even which chapter you know is is that uh, thing is uh, okay because you know the the birds have a big place in the Quran mm -hmm, if you exactly know, like uh, the birds they they fly in the top of the throne of uh, Suleiman and they cover him in shade for sure with poopoo yeah. with, with poo too uh, oh yeah uh, and they defended the Kaaba. Kaaba, uh, correct. With tiny stones. Yeah. I will find it for you. You know, give, give me some time to find it because uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't really remember. This is embarrassing. I'm, this is the first time it happened I'm to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's what you get when you invite a Viking on. Not speaking. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I can't. I can't even remember what verse that verse is. As if I never heard of it. Yeah, but uh, let me see. I don't know. Oh, yeah. One of the uh, people in the chat has it. I think she meant that mustn't say that in the Holy Bible teaches that false has four legs. Like we are talking about the Bible or about, about the Quran? No, yeah, Muslim says that the Holy Bible teaches that false has four legs. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, that might be it. It might be me that has mixed it up. Yeah, but uh, that verse is not what the Muslims are saying anyway. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, uh, before a Muslim, he asked me this question too, you know, about, uh, mm -hmm. for example, you know, the answer, uh, if somebody have the verse uh, posted, but I'm, I'm talking about uh, uh, a mistake in the Quran about uh, the birds. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got you in something different. Um, but but anyway, like, you know, the, the Quran have a number of stories about the birds. And uh, we mentioned the birds; they don't, they don't, uh, uh, you know, they don't stay in the sky. But it is the will of Allah; He is holding them from falling down. Oh yeah, he's uh, a very busy man. His he, two right hands. Yeah. Uh, what else? I'm trying just. <clears throat> uh, let us see. Let us see. There's something funny about the bird. I'm trying to remember. Uh, but it's not coming to my head. Uh, now, what what about a Muslim? He called me and he asked me the question about the birds in the Bible. Why why don't call? It is any Muslim yeah, would like. It is any Muslim would like to call and ask me this question, the one she is giving. Any Abdul? But remember, always when you ask me a question, Abdul, you have to give me. Uh, you have to give me an an answer. I mean, I mean the, the the verse. Don't don't just say to me there's a verse in the Bible say something. 
give it to me and we will love together Bible is funny then we can do the Bible is funny let us see if it is but you have to show it to me mm -hmm. yeah there's something about about the birds I forgot I really totally forgot uh, uh, you see that the way uh, the Quran and the hadith describe the creation of uh, what is called God in Islam is it, it is, is really funny and missing a lot of things like as an example even the Quran consider that birds uh, they are uh, all the animals including the birds they are uh, believers but the Quran consider at the same time consider that uh, flies are birds too as an example here yeah actually I think this is what I was going to talk about and here it says, "Wama min dabatin fil ard, wala ta'irun yatiru bi janahihi illa umamun amthalakum." In this verse, that there is nothing, there is not even one animal that live in earth, nor that is a fly on its wings, but they are community like you. Nothing have we omitted from the book. So what Allah. Uh, and here it says too, and all they will gather in the front of Allah. So this is actually what I was going to quote for you. According to the Quran, that all anything fly is considered as a bird. And as yeah, a, yeah, and 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 that mean uh, a fly, in, uh, insect, all that kind of insect are considered as bird, and they are all our community. And all of them, they are going to be gathered in the judgment day in front of Allah, and Allah is going to judge them by the book of Allah. So, according to Islam, all of those animals and insects, including cockroaches, because cockroaches, they uh, they fly too, and ants, they many of them, they, they depend on the kind they fly, and fly and etc. All of them, they are community and they are Muslim community. And in the judgment day, Allah is going to gather all of them in front of Allah, and He is going to judge them. Uh, like as an example, uh, in the hadith it says that Allah in the judgment day is going to judge between two goats. One of them she have a horn, and the other one does not have a horn. And Allah is going to question the one she have a horn, why you did hit the one does not have a horn? All right. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so Allah is going to judge by. Uh, actually, I remember once I asked a Muslim. Uh, about mosquitoes you know uh, uh, do you think Allah is going to judge mosquito for biting me and sucking my blood he said yes you know Allah is going to ask the mosquito why you are suck this person blood I said but isn't it the mosquito live by blood I mean is that is that the fault of the mosquito isn't it Allah who is the one who created the mosquito supposedly so this verse is a very stupid statement coming to the point that all animals they are Muslims and that means the pigs are Muslims too because look here it says there's no exception there's not an animal that live on earth and for sure pigs are animals nor are being that fly on its wings but they are community like you and all of them they are going to gather in the judgment day and they will be judged by the book which means Allah he gave every community of you a Quran so the insect they have Quran the pigs they have Quran, the the donkeys they have Quran, and in the because how you can judge an animal unless you you give him a law, correct? Mm -hmm. Unless like uh, uh, to judge you, if there is no law, there is no judgment. If yeah. every, if everything is allowed, then there is no judgment. You know, if I say there is no law, do whatever you wish, that's mean there is no judgment. So the judgment of the animals is based on what? Is based on Allah giving law Quran to every community of this community, including the birds, the insects. The pigs, the monkeys, the donkeys, all kind of animals. Now, this is again just additional stupid statement from someone he claimed to be God. Because, as we know, animals are not, uh, you know, qualified to be judged for. They are programmed, you know. Like as an example, you do not need to teach a duck how to swim. Mm -mm. Right away, she come from the egg. She jump in the water, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, she follow her mom right away. I mean, they don't, you do not need to teach her how to swim. Why? Because they are programmed. And if you take an insect without being in a community, she do exactly what, like, uh, let us say, her, her her mom was doing 
without training. Just take her, put it in a different place. If we take a newborn, uh, let us say, uh, new eggs of ants, and we put them in different place, where there is no adult ants around them, you will see that those they will grow as if they are there is there's a, there's adult community ag around them, and they do not need any training. Right away, they they start practicing what uh, uh, ants they do. So those are programmed, and to say are going to judge them, it's a very stupid statement. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you saw a, mo a video made by a Muslim Abdul from Gaza. Uh, he's a, you know, he's a, he called himself Palestinian. He said the reasons we ha we should not eat the the, the pigs because uh, Allah He made them Jews. So when you eat a pig, you are eating a Jew. <laughs> Now he wanted he wanted to prove that he said as an example, uh, you notice a very disgusting behavior of pigs, other animals don't do. And he said, and I'm quoting him, he said, as an example, pigs they have sex with their mother. <laughs> you know, Aww. yeah. So so pigs they have sex with their mother. And he remember he's trying to prove that pigs are Jews. <clears throat> you know, so why they are Jews? Here we go. The proof that the only animals who have sex with their mother is the pigs. But for mm. sure, this is very stupid because animals they don't know what what mother mean, you know. Mm -mm. All animals they have sex with their with their with their mother if she is around. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So this is a very stupid statement. But this is the limitation of the mind of the Muslim. And in the same video, he tried to prove to us that uh, uh, pigs are disgusting and they are Jews. How he proved it? He said the only animal eat their own feces is uh, pigs, which is very very false. There's a mm -hmm. lot of animals, including the ones it is not forbidden in Islam to eat. They eat their poopoo. As an example, the the best meal for a chicken is 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 uh, is poopoo. Mm. You know, if uh, yeah. if you live in a village and like you know you you will see like a naked boy. He's like just a little, little. He don't have a diaper, and he did his poopoo. You will see the chicken fighting over his poopoo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so they have they have a, a frozen mentality. And they have their own mindset and they don't listen to anyone except themselves. And what I find funny about Muslims, not even one Muslim, like this guy who made a video about the pigs who they are Jews, not even one Muslim in the text, he said to him, uh, come on, man, people will laugh at us. Don't say that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All the Muslims agree with him. And then you ask yourself, how come? Like not even one of them, he says to him, that, are you stupid? Are you a donkey or what? Even if you are a Muslim, don't you have a brain? Don't you find that this is embarrassing to be part of your religion? So here we ask the Muslims if there is anyone would like to call how Allah is going to judge the mosquito Why Allah will gather all the animals and how Muhammad he said uh, uh, Allah is going to judge uh, between two, two, uh, two goats What is the point of judgment between two goats? There, there is one pure eat more bacon yeah, I mean, but what is the? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's a madness. Sometimes you yeah. do not know. Uh, 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 you know, you do not know what to say, because it's it's very very stupid st statement to believe that there is there is uh, uh, two animals who are going to take to court, and the judge is going to judge between them, and this judge is Allah. You know. Uh, you know uh, how we can judge between two animals i mean what the what is the logic of this uh, judgment uh, i understand that a human being will be judged because he have a brain and he have a judgment and he have a teaching etc but i'm going to judge an animal based on what and if animals will be judged for uh, you know let us say shedding blood uh, how allah himself he justifies shedding blood like if you, when you hear Muhammad saying two animals they fought together, they will be judged in the front of Allah. You think that Muhammad is Buddha? You know what mm. I mean? He have like a, yeah. he have like some kind of specialist spirituality, and he believed that even animals they are not animals; they are nation of a, a human. You know, because uh, Buddhas, Hindus, they believe that if you were a bad person, you in the coming life you might be something like bad insect right if you are a good person in the coming life you might be a good creature or something good uh, uh, in order to say that animals are going to be judged 
we have to be really people who believe in in reincarnation of a human being to be something else there therefore he is in a form of an insect but in fact he is a human so mm. then we can accept this statement from that belief to believe that animals can be judged but if the Muslims reject the reincarnation as an example we as a Christian we believe that God came to us as a man so the word come as a man the Muslim they say we don't believe in reincarnation but the fact this is false because all of us we knew that uh, they, they they have it but let's say with, with, without uh, 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 without noticing they have it the Muslims that he believe that when he die Allah will resurrect him but in different body isn't it this is a reincarnation you know like the new body mm -hmm. it's, a new, it's a new body a new soul and you will be a different person same time uh, Allah himself he changed his shape he come in different shape so he was something he will come to the Muslim with something else and then the Muslim they will reject him and then Allah he will change his shape and he will come to them in a shape which they like uh, additional to that we know that Allah in the Quran support he said that he sent his spirit and appear in the front of Mary as a perfect man so here we go we have a spirit who took the shape of a human being and became a human being now if we ask the Muslims is that a human being a human they say no he's an angel okay so do you believe in uh, incarnation or you don't they say no we don't but okay you just told me that he is an angel but he is coming as a man he is a man or he's an angel what happened exactly when he come as an as an angel as, as a man because the Quran says he came as a perfect man which means nothing is missing he is a perfect man as he is so the idea you know that all the ideas which Muslims refuse about Christianity in fact they have it in their religion all the idea they refuse about uh, Hindus they have it in the religion including the black stone and the Kaaba mm. and shaving the head when they do uh, Hajj and uh, many things actually they took from the Hindus mm -hmm. actually there is there is a strong uh, strong evidence that even the word Mecca originally is uh, uh, from the Sanskriti uh, language it is not an Arabic word you know yeah uh, so you know Islam as I believe it's a mix and collection of religions I have no doubt about it because yeah. you can find so much from many different uh, books before Islam all right you can find lots of weird interesting stuff but it's hard to debate Muslims on these things because as you as you said they are so bound to to defending their scriptures that it terrifies them when you even if you put up like three things and say this is wrong or this is wrong or this is wrong and ask them to choose wisely what does Allah mean did he forget did Muhammad forget or is the Quran lying because they you know that they will become apostate if they choose either one of the answers well you know uh, the Muslim is the, the idea of debating a Muslim when you debate him you don't debate you are, you are going to play a game with him <coughs> you, have, you have to trap the Muslim to make him say yeah, something get get then, them in the corner yeah and then and then you can get something otherwise there's no debate no uh, and, and when you get them in in the corner they take down the post and disappear yeah like you know uh, even the even the, the Muslim themselves they don't agree about what they believe <coughs> you know? uh, yeah like you know we are debating with the Muslim in the, in the in the text he is saying that Adam is not the first man if you ask other Muslim he will say no Adam is the first man so which which Muslim is the one who is a Muslim the one who believe in Adam as the first man or the one who believe in Adam is not the first man you know mm. both of them they think because I remember Muhammad he said my nation will be 73 sect one of them is going to go to heaven the rest will go to hell mm -hmm. and as long the rest will go to hell so we have the opportunity of 72 to 1 which mean the minority are the one who will go to heaven the minority because it is one to seventy-three, you see. If you uh, if you hold uh, you know those who play cards, uh, uh, what is the chance to win? Is one to four, correct? Mm -hmm. If you are playing like four people, so the chance to win is one to four. But in the in Islam is is bigger gambling. It's because uh, you know the chance to win 
uh, is uh, one to seventy three. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So which how we know which one is the one is the correct one? And uh, like as an example, the Muslims, if you remember, uh, 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 brother Nabil Qurashi, God bless mm -hmm. his soul. The Muslim they start saying he is not a Muslim. I don't care really if you consider him as a Muslim or not. This is not my scenario. But if your God, Muhammad, he said that my nation will be 73 sect. And he called them by word, called them my nation. So why they are considered by Muhammad my nation, but yet they are not Muslims? Because obviously, mm -hmm. obviously, Muhammad is saying here that the only true Muslim sect is one out of the 73, as I'm showing in the screen. So look what it says here. The Jews are split into 71 sect, one of which will be in paradise, and 70 in hell. All right. The, but yet he is calling them all Jews. You see that? Mm -hmm. He didn't call them like uh, all of them are called Jews. And then he called the Christian. He said, the Christian, they split, or they split already, into 72 sect, 71 of which will be in hell, and one in paradise. But yet he is calling them Christians. Now, when he speak about Muslim, look what he said. I swear by the one who has his hand uh, is my uh, is the soul of Muhammad, my nation. Now, who is the nation of Muhammad? The Muslims will split into 73 sect. One which will be in paradise and the 72 in hell. So the 72 who is, which is going to go to, to hell, they are Muslims. Because he called them my nation. And he called the Christians, all of them are Christians, but yet there's only one sect will go to heaven, even though they are 72 sect. And he called all the Jews, all of them Jews, but yet there's only one sect will go to heaven. So Muhammad himself, he confirmed that all Islamic sect are Muslims, but the majority of them, they are going to go to hell because the average of going to hell is 72 to one. One go to heaven, 72. Muslim will go to hell mm. and uh, uh, and that in here will show you how the Muslims they uh, they are retaking this they play games if you ask a Muslim how many uh, uh, Muslims there is he will say to you 1.4 he said you ask him is the Shia Muslim he say no yeah. okay so we take 600 million now mm -hmm. <laughs> how come you are counting them when we ask you about Muslims but when we ask you if there are Muslims or not you say no Mm -hmm. How come you count all the numbers of what it's called Muslims in the world just to give us numbers to be proud about the numbers but yet you don't approve them to be Muslims for Islam is about hypocrisy yeah you know they just want to give you numbers to to, uh, to make you uh, impressed with the numbers they think numbers make anything you know if by numbers we are the majority in the world as a Christians but to mm -hmm. care about numbers or not in certain date Jesus was only with the 12 followers. Mm -hmm. Just at well, does that mean that Jesus at that time he was wrong? According to me, no. Muhammad himself, according to Muslims, he spent most of his life only seventy people believe in him, and I believe this number is fabricated because you know, number seventy is like all over Islam, seventy mm -hmm. virgins, seventy. I mean, why seventy people believe in Muhammad? What seventy? Where are they? So mm -hmm. all those numbers are fabricated. However, even the Muslims agree that most of his life, Muhammad he spent and he made. After all those years, 70 people only accept Islam. So, does that mean at that time, if somebody came to Muhammad and he said, My followers are 100, that means Muhammad is wrong and the one who have 100 followers is uh, right? So, even though logic is is, is, is naive and it's uh, it's stupid. Uh, and and it's very stupid too to count everybody as a, as a Muslim. Give a freedom for people in Pakistan, and let's see how many Muslims there is in Pakistan. Don't kill, don't kill gays and atheists and lesbian, and let us see how many left Muslims. Uh, give people the chance to convert to different religion. How we can know how many Muslims in Saudi Arabia if there is only one religion in Saudi Arabia is allowed? You know, so even mm -hmm. their numbers is fabricated. However, even those who they call themselves believers, they are. They have no idea what Islam is about. And here we are waiting for a Muslim to call us. Yeah. You see, a Muslim, he will find you a verse as the one you you talk about from the Bible about four legs. 
I mean, why he is so much interested in a, in a verse in the Bible, but yet he do not know what is written in his Quran. Each time I ask a Muslim, he said, this is the first time I hear about it. <laughs> How come his interest suddenly became in the Bible, but he is like a, a person who goes to the Bible is somebody he knows his book. He finished reading his book, at least read it. And then you start reading other people's books. The Muslim, they say to you, we recite the Quran by heart. Okay, how come none of you can explain the Quran for me? How come even those who did read the Quran cannot explain the verse in the Quran? So you memorize, but you don't understand? And how you memorize a book written in a language is not yours. What the point? It's like somebody yeah. singing a song in French, but you don't speak French. That's stupid. That does not make you educated, does not make you a hero. That's make you a fool who repeat words without knowing what they mean. You know, yeah. like, like first time I heard about uh, uh, about the food in America, I, I heard about hot dogs. I said to myself, those Americans are sick. I look in the dictionary, <laughs> it says hot dogs. I look at dogs, it means dogs. I mean like, you know what dogs? So I said to myself, oh, man, those Americans are sick. They are eating hot dogs. <laughs> Disgusting, stupid. So how you can learn about somebody if you do not know the culture, you do not know the language, you do not know what the words mean, you do not know what the phrase mean, because sometimes words we campaign, campaign, like campaign together, we make them different meaning, right? Yeah. So a Muslim who don't speak a language, language is speaking about, he have no idea what the what the culture is about, and then he try to tell us that I memorize the Quran, but you do not understand the language, you do not understand the culture. You have no idea what they mean, and then you try to tell me I memorized the Quran. That's mean you are a you know, recording machine, stupid machine, you know. And most of them actually they memorize the Quran, but they do not even know how to write and read. As an example, the Muslim themselves they say to us, Muhammad himself he do not know how to write, how to read. Imagine we bring somebody to be our teacher, but he himself do not know how to write, how to read. That's stupid. I mean, mm -hmm. I can accept him to be a teacher if he is teaching me uh, uh, to uh, to make a door. You know, he's a carpenter, like you know, uh, some kind of a profession. Do not need writing or reading, but even that one, actually, he needs some education because you have to use uh, numbers, you have to calculate. You know, it's, it's not just like that. So any profession in life required you to know certain knowledge in order to accomplish that uh, 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 you know profession. Now somebody mm -hmm. is coming to us with a profession of teacher. The Muslim, they say to us, he do not know how to write, how to read. Well, if this is a true, that explains why he says stupid things. Because if he knew how to write, how to read, he will not say and do stupid things like what we see in the Quran. Mm. Uh, like when the Quran says that Azar, uh, uh, Abraham, he said to his father Azar, if you ask the Muslims what Azar mean, they say to you, this is the name of his father. But this is because they are ignorant, like their prophet. Azar is an Aramaic word, which means foolish or stupid or etc. So uh, Abraham, he said to his father, foolish, are you going to worship idols? So the Muslim Abdul, because he is ignorant and his prophet is a thief, he have no idea what the word mean. He copy, he paste, and then when they ask him what this is mean, he have no idea. You, you see, actually, if we ask the Muslims why, why Muhammad did not make explanation for the Quran? Any Muslim can answer? Why Muhammad? He did not explain the Quran. If we ask Muslims about a verse in the Quran, he will say, Oh, you need to read the tafsir. Okay. The tafsir is made by who? Tafsir means interpretation. Made by a scholar. Okay, was this a scholar living in the time of Muhammad? He say no. Okay, then how we know that this person he got the, the, the right meaning <coughs> you see if I am a person say something and uh, I put it in a text and this text uh, is coming from different culture different language and then I try to explain to you this text how you guarantee that I am giving you the correct explanation and what it's meant in this text there's no guarantee why Muhammad did not give us an answer Name for me one verse in the Quran. Muhammad voluntarily he explained it. Any Muslim can do that? 
actually Muhammad when he got busted and he could not give answers he said that there's a big part of the Quran nobody knows what they mean save Allah so imagine somebody is coming to us with the Quran and then he said to us well this Quran nobody knows what they mean so why you are giving us the Quran and who are you what is your job exactly I think you have a Muslim who wants to call in all right hang up at the scene let us receive him yeah thanks thank, for now thank you for calling please thank you bye bye uh, you are stuck <laughs> Look at guys, this is a chapter 3 verse number 7. What kind of God, he says, that there is there is part of the Quran, nobody knows what they mean, what I mean, what he means, save Allah. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Because Muhammad himself is a thief. He is copying others, he do not know what it, those verses mean. You know what I mean? It's like me, you know, I have books and then I copy somebody else's book. And then I say to you, I am the one who wrote the book. And then you ask me about something I said in my book. And then I say to you, only Allah knows what <laughs> what this is mean. <laughs> why the why the founder of Islam, the prophet of Allah, at least did not ask his God Allah what those verses mean and the solution is there easy i mean can't allah answer muhammad he's a prophet and what the point of sending verses nobody knows what they mean nobody knows what they mean save allah read with me but no one knows it's hiding meaning except allah hiding meaning simply this was an answer from muhammad to get away would theft he steal from other people's books he put it in his book and don't ask me because if you ask me that is going to get me busted where is the Muslim who uh, he said he want to call is he around <clears throat> Where is the, the guy who want to call? Hello? Hello. Hello, sir. Hey, my friend. How are you? How are you? You right? Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to... No problem. Ask a question. Um, you always... One interesting topic, so it's very difficult when to call. Well, I wanted to ask a question, but then also you mentioned two things uh, whilst you were speaking to the previous person. One of them was that you you were saying that the, the way that people me memorize um, the Quran, what you'll notice is that there's a lot of people who don't speak English, but they will are able to sing an English song. That don't that speak English they, right. you know I, I know I know people like that who don't speak English but they can sing an English song yeah especially like uh, Korean or uh, Japanese they don't speak English but they, they, but they sing English songs yeah so it's a, it's a bit those people that memorize it it's a bit like that it's just a bit yeah. pointed the, the music, also, the music make it easy easy because when yeah. you make it like a tone of music it's easy to, to memorize it and of course. Song. Like I, I can remember to you right now uh, a commercial I used to see in TV when I was seven years old. You know, so what the Muslims they do in a very early age, you, you cannot learn the Quran, memorize it when you are old. This is something done before the age of nine. You see, they force them. You, you can go watch on YouTube how they beat them. They even beat them. No, I've seen, I've seen the yeah. videos. There's the videos. They, they get them beaten. Right. Actually, so they keep beaten, repeating so the same verse, repeating, repeating, repeating until he memorizes. Then he go to the second chapter, second chapter, etc. So they spend uh, like uh, two or three years in order to memorize the Quran, and that have to be done in an early age. Like you cannot ask someone he is. Uh, I challenge a Muslim who converted to Islam at the age of let's say uh, twenty five to memorize the Quran. I want to see that happening. 
That will not happen, <laughs> you know? Well, um, I mean, it's, to be honest, the Quran is only got about 5,000 verses. So it's not like a, it's a massive book. And the other thing you mentioned um, to do with the, how they say, you know, uh, there, there is like 1.6 or 1.8 Muslims, uh, billion Muslims. One of the things that like, I've noticed myself, I was looking at the Pew Research, you know, which is like the main research thing. And he has there that the, the population of Muslims in Turkey is 90, uh, 98.5 something. So basically what they were saying is that um, I've looked at the stats at the, in one particular year and there was only 1 million out of the 73 or 72, there was uh, at that time, so I think this was 2010, there was only 1 million, there were no Muslims. And it just shows how the people, when they make these numbers that there is 1 point something billion Muslims, is that they basically take these numbers um, as they are. I mean, you could, if as long as you have a parent that is a Muslim, you are registered as a Muslim in Turkey. That's how it works. Plus you have um, at least 15 million of Kurdish that not all of them are actually Muslims. A lot of them have are become atheists. And you, left you, wanna, you wanna laugh? There is a, yeah. a, a I remember there's a, a when I was overseas, uh, I was yeah. I was trying to communicate with uh, with uh, someone, and he told me the only uh, he he live in Turkey actually, he told me the okay. only application is working here good, is an application called uh, let me remember. Uh, tango tango uh, He said download it and this is my name now. I you know, I put the uh, I, I Download the program and I could not find his name. So he said okay look for my name like look for Turkey location For some reason his name is not coming uh, or the account anyway, so I, I put Turkey location and I start looking I Could not find any decent profile all of it is for hookers and right now, right now, any of you can go and put, uh, go to this application and put the word Istanbul, you know, Turkey, and look, you know, hookers, naked women, they are just naked women. So it's, 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 a, it's a big business. It's, you know, the, the Turkish people are far away. You know, if you go to Turkey, there's nothing there but nightclubs, naked people. They're, they're, I remember when I was in England, uh, I was taking an English class. And we have two Turkish girls. When they come to our, I'm not, by the way, I'm not insulting the Turkish, I'm just stating a fact. Those two Turkish girls, when they come to our classroom, our classroom have like 40, 45 people. We are like, like a chicken on top of each other. Why? Because of those two girls. They are almost wearing no clothes. Even the teacher is shy to look at them. You know, they are, they are like, they come in, you know, they are almost naked. So uh, uh, when they count for us Muslims, there's most of those what is called Islamic countries. They have no idea what Islam is about. Actually, there's some countries even Islam is forbidden there. You know, uh, like now the Islam now is not forbidden in, in Turkey. But remember, not a long time ago it was forbidden, right? And mm -hmm. the same I think in uh, Kazakhstan, Quran is totally forbidden in that in that country. I think uh, the president of uh, this country he forbid Islam totally. It's not allowed. Quran is not allowed. Mosques are not allowed. Islamic school are not allowed, and this is the majority of the country are Muslims, but they are Muslim by name. Uh, so there is many countries who they are considered Islamic countries, but they hate Islam to death. Now, if we ask ourselves how many Muslims are really in the world, the the answer would be very simple. If Muslims are the one who they are dominating the population in a country like Egypt, so why Islam is not ruling? Because remember. Islam is not like Christianity. Islam is religion and government and and, and political. Yeah, it's a government politics. It's a, you know? it's a politi so, political ideology. So yeah. they, they 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 have to rule everything. They have to control the court. They have to control the judges, the police, the the caliphate. You have to be caliphate, not even president. So where is Islam in Algeria, as an example? Where is Islam in Morocco? Where is Islam in Libya? Where is Islam in uh, uh, in all those countries? We cannot find the only country is a practice in Islam is in Iran and those are Shia. The rest, Islam is not really practiced, even in Saudi Arabia. You know, like until now in Saudi Arabia, as we speak, there's no Christian paid jizya in Saudi Arabia. And jizya, as we know, this is a very important part of Islam. 
anyone is not a Muslim who live under Islamic law, he have to pay jizya. There's no jizya in Saudi Arabia. And and all these workers that go and work in Saudi Arabia, they don't pay jizya. They don't because simply they need them. If they say we have to yeah, pay jizya and we need to spit at your face and we need to 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 beat you up when you walk in the street, nobody will stay. And Saudi Arabia will go back to the cave time again. You know. So because they need them, they don't practice it. And who can who can make a who can make an American pay jizya? They are the one who pay. pay uh, I remember in the during the the, the Gulf War. Uh, in the month of Ramadan, there was an American soldier from the Marines. Uh, she is a female, so she dropped off her car, and she having you know her hair is exposed. She is an American. Uh, this is during the war with Iraq. Uh, you know those the, the religious police who beat people for not wearing the standard mm. clothes. Yep, yep. They came to her to beat her. She shot them, both. She shot two of them by her gun. <laughs> she, she was an army, uh, U.S. Army. Yeah, she is a U.S. Army soldier. Who who dared to arrest her? Nobody. <laughs> she shot them. She sat in her car, and nobody followed her, and nobody who, who there, you know. So they practice those things over somebody is poor. As an example, if you are an American and you and and they found you that you have a, a whiskey in your apartment, eh, you know they try to hide it. If they cannot, they will deport they, they deport you out of the country. But if you are an Indian poor person. Then suddenly Islam is going to be practiced, or maybe it will be are, big news. Oh yeah, big or, news. or you are from Indonesia, or you are from uh, you know the poor countries. So they are selective in in everything in, in Islamic countries is based on racism. So if you are coming, even if you are a Muslim, by the way, like in Saudi Arabia, one thousand more than a thousand and two hundred Indonesian Muslim women get killed in one year. One year, imagine. Those are Indonesian maids who came to Saudi Arabia to work as maids. To the point you can search it in Google, if somebody can help and find us a news, uh, the, the Indonesian government, they have to stop any employment to Saudi Arabia for maids. No female can go no more. Why? Because what they do, they go to, uh, to Indonesia, they bring those poor people. You know, nothing wrong with being poor. I mean, you, 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 it can happen to you, it can happen to me. You know, we are lucky. I'm not born in Indonesia, but if I'm born there, I might be looking for a job as anything. So they bring them from those poor countries and they enslave them and their maid name. But the fact is a slavery, even though she's a Muslim, they rape her. You know, uh, uh, the, 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 the owner of the house, his children, the women, they, you know, there is actually there's a case. I don't know if you, you, you live in England, right? There is a, there is yeah. a, there's a case of a Saudi princess. She was jailing her her, her uh, maids in England. You know, and, <laughs> there was there, there's been so many cases, but the government yeah. here, of course, doesn't yeah. do anything. Money. There was in Paris as well. There was there's in there's Paris. A, there's there's a guy. He, there's a guy. He he killed his own uh, servant. You know, in England. Mm. Mm. A, yeah, yeah. Saudi. A, a gay guy, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he bring. You know, he make party, sex party. So yeah, they, this is what they do. They are very perverted people, and and. Uh, they they enslave people but but in when you speak to them about islam they give you speeches about the amazing beautiful islam but if you go to islamic countries employment is very horrible it's a slavery if you go right now to qatar how many people they are dying to build stadium for qatar you know loads, just loads. just wait in 20 years from now they will say to you the golden age of qatar and they will show you how many stadium they build but none of them is built by a citizen from qatar is built by the poor Indian, poor Filipino, Indian labor, and they yeah. are dying there to build. It's disgusting. There's been so many reports here in UK that they've been mentioning about how bad they are suffering. So it's very yeah. disgusting. They what bring, happens. they bring like uh, fifty Indian. They put them all in one room, like shelves, you know. And those I've, I've, I've seen, I've, I've seen it, and I've looked into it, and it's and it's absolutely disgusting. And yeah. But and, if you are for that reason, I, you, I don't even watch football you see, anymore. But you, as a as a British citizen, even if though maybe maybe your origin is from India, if you go to Saudi Arabia, they will give you your own apartment now. You know what I mean? Even though if you are originally from India, so they treat yeah. you based in your citizenship. They are very much disgusting people. They are not fair. Well, so discrimination. Huh? It's, 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 discriminate you when you are poor. It's 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 discrimination it's only. It's only on the poor one you see they don't discriminate the rich one 
they don't discriminate the the ones coming from powerful countries of, of course of course they don't discriminate the rich one because uh, just very recently there was some uh, murder of uh, this model in uh, in malaysia um apparently the guy is a rich guy and then um, it looks like there were you know some sex involved or something uh with his missus uh they found a girl 20 floors down and she had been at the flat so she has posted pictures of being in the flat and basically straight away and the and the, and the couple pretended oh we were asleep we didn't know they found that even in her neck there was like she was strangled and the police in malaysia said straight away it's not a murder we don't know she must have committed suicide if it was that like, ridiculous like you know uh, yeah. but it's, it's, the guy is very rich and they will accuse you with something you know he can accuse this maid or etc but she stole some money from him she ran away this is what they do in saudi arabia they bring a maid they rape her and she get a pregnant now they want to get rid of her so they kill her they dump her in the desert and then they report to the police that our maid she ran away and she stole etc jewelries all right. Or she's missing and we can't find her. No, no, no. She will. They will say she's stole to give a reason why she ran. They, they, they will, because you have to give a reason. She's. Uh, we we found the, my wife. She found her jewelry is missing. You know, so she disappeared. And then after, let us say, if you know, you know, Saudi Arabia, how big it is. So in in one mile, one million mile <laughs> country, uh, in the desert, if they found your bones after a year from now, they will find next to it. A, a, a ring from gold which supposed is stolen from this owner you know uh, mm. and who is going to investigate who care I mean she's just a maid you know they will send uh, a report to the uh, it's, 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 that's that's what it is and it's hypocrisy and also there is a documentary a very funny documentary actually uh, I don't know if I think it was from BBC they were showing the Turks, they're showing the prostitution in Turkey. And what was funny about it is, is uh, apparently in Turkey, they've got quite a lot of uh, she males. Yeah. And he was showing that. And it was so funny. There was a group of young Turkish guys. So the ladies asking them, you know, the guys that had been to these prostitutes, and he was asking them, and he was like, so you're going to this lady. You, you know she's a, 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 a transsexual. You know she's actually a man, you know? Yeah. And they were like, yeah, yes, but uh, I do I do her, and she doesn't do me. But that makes you gay, she would say. No, no, I'm not gay. Me? Oh, no, I hate gay. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I swear, you, you should watch it. It was so funny. I didn't stop laughing. The one was saying, but, you know, you're, you're, that makes you gay. That's a man. No, but I don't do... I, I I do I do to him. You he remember, doesn't do... You remember <laughs> once I mentioned a Saudi guy? This was in the Philippines. I was in a coffee shop with the with the with the transgender. The transgender is like six foot, and the Saudi is like <laughs> is, is like five foot. He's like a, you know. <laughs> so uh, he is sitting in the coffee shop uh, outside, and I feel sorry for him. I I, I I said to myself, "There's no way this guy he know that this is not a girl," you know. So mm. I wanted to tell him that he has been. <laughs> You have a big surprise waiting for him in the hotel. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I waited. I, I cannot say because I, I know those. Uh, obviously, they are prostitutes. Uh, mm -hmm. They speak Arabic because most of their customers are Arab. So I know if I speak Arabic, she will know. If I speak English, she will know. Is she female? She male. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, finally, this uh, transgender decided to go to the bathroom advantage and I said to him hey how are you he said uh, you know I speak to him Arabic I said by the way this uh, this uh, the one with you she's not a woman and then he said to me and what's your business <laughs> <laughs> you know? what's your business you know I said nothing I mean I just I'm warning you <laughs> he said, what's your business? yeah but, I, but the thing is the same guy will go and go three four times in mosque and become religious and look, show like he's religious and stuff it's hypocrisy look the the actual question why i wanted to ask i wanted to phone you in relation to the name Asim or chasim yeah. you know yeah uh the previous name because what's happening is in twitter especially uh you know when there is a like a discussion or I post something. I never say I don't say Muhammad. I say Kathim. Hmm. 
Uh, so I say like your prophet Qasim did this and, 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 and you get loads of these Muslims. They obviously don't know that that's his name. They're like, we never had a prophet. Uh, they, you know, they text him. We never had a prophet called Qasim. So I don't know where you got this. Uh, what is Qasim? And, and then when I say your prophet's name was Qasim, they're like, oh, show me, you know, that sort of thing. Um, there is also, I was looking at this on the sunnah.com. There is, um, what is called Chasim. Is that his name also? Abdul what? Abdul, A-D-U-L, huh? and a line, a dash, Chasim. Maybe that's how they spell it, but I'm not sure. You know, it yeah, was in quite I mean, a few It hobbies. might be different, uh, different uh, translation. Uh, you have to give it to me in Arabic because, you know, in English, sometimes it's confusing what they mean. It's, it was in quite a few, if, I mean, in Sunnah.com, if you search like Adul, A-D-U-L, and Dash, and Q-I-S-I-M, like Shasim, uh, with a Q, uh, basically that seemed to come like a lot of it, and it seemed to say that that was his name. So, I don't know if it's a title or not, but that seemed to be... Basically, if you, if you can give me a link, that would be good, so I can see. Anyway, this is uh, <clears throat> Abu Qasim. You mean Abu Qasim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ab Ab no, this is supposedly they call him by this name as the father of someone. His name is Qasim, but this is not okay. Abu Qasim. No, no, no. Yeah, but uh, regarding the Re sorry, the reason why I'm asking is because I had both of your books, but because I gave it to to people. And they never give it to me back, so I couldn't even find the reference. There was a, there was one or two reference I found somewhere else, but you know, because uh, I know you wrote Muhammad, about. It. That's, that's where I learned it. I learned it from your book. Muhammad, his name. Muhammad, was, he used to be called many names. Uh, one of them is Abu Kabsha. Uh, okay. And uh, uh, Abu Kabsha supposedly uh, uh, is like uh, it's kind of an, an, an insult name, you know. Uh, but uh, Qatham, there's maybe I can find you from um, uh, Islam online the article But as I know that it was in Arabic as I remember let me search Islam online It was a um, long time ago no? Yeah uh, The real name I will search in English, English first Five years ago <laughs> Yeah, I will search in English first to see if I can find it for you well, this is Islam online. They cannot say. Actually, here we go. I made a video about it a long time ago. Uh, somebody have it. Maybe you can download it. Uh, let me post the link here. This. Uh... What what objection do Muslims have to say that that's not his name? Is there any strong evidence that his name was Ahmed or Muhammad, given at birth? You know, is so there is obviously, obviously, even from the Quran, we can prove it that Ahmad cannot be Muhammad cannot be his name, because if your name is Ahmad, that's it. What what Muhammad then? What is Muhammad? If my name is uh, a Christian, that's my name is a Christian. You know, <laughs> names I should have. So obviously, those are titles given to Muhammad. They are not a name, and they mean the praised one. So I believe that Muhammad was trying. To uh, uh, you know, to, to to claim himself to be the Messiah, he is the praised one. Otherwise, this is not the name of a person. Actually, this is the name of God. You know, uh, if if Muhammad is the praised one, so who is Allah? <laughs> you know, and if Muhammad, if Muhammad name is Muhammad as they call him, so who is Ahmad? And who is Al Mustafa? They, Muhammad, he have seventy names. If we go right now, let me show you. Let me see. Because uh, because I'm on the phone and I can't see. It's just if you can, you know, about the the names of Muhammad, where it came about. I, I mean, I'll find it interesting. <laughs> I'll leave it to it. I will I'm find, gonna go I will find you right, and, at least in Arabic. I will, I will find it for you, and maybe you, know. you can learn, learn, search in English. But clearly, uh, and the one actually the one who start mentioning this. Uh, it, it was the Muslim himself, you know, it was not really the Christians. It's not like us Christians or Arab Christians who is the one who discovered this It was the Muslims who they are saying that Muhammad's name is not Muhammad uh, 
So let us see. Uh, as I remember, the all, right, I'm, all right, I'm gonna leave you to it. But I mean, if if it's something that you can, you know, I'd appreciate it because um, it's quite an interesting thing. Because I, what, as I've noticed, is hardly any Muslim needs, seems to know that that's his name. Um, well, the Muslim they know nothing anyway. I mean, uh, since when the Muslims they know anything about Islam? You ask a Muslim about anything, he would say this is the first time I heard of it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, but, yeah, but, okay, this is a yeah, but, line. But the Bible, the, but the Bible, but the Bible says this, brother. <laughs> yeah, you see, here we go. I went to the archive. This is Islam online. I will put it in the screen so everybody can see. Oh, and, and I'm, I will, I will I'm, give it to you in the text in the chat so you can click on it and open it. Uh, oh. Okay, hang up so you can see it. You see, All right, this, thank you. Sir. This is this thank is you. this is. Uh, this is the archive of Islam online as you see Islam online. Do you see it? This is not my website. This is not a Christian website and the, uh, and this article written by uh, Muslims and the, the one who who made uh, this is a no, this, this is a new study However, it, this is not something new, you know, we know about it from long time ago, but the Muslims are the one who spread this uh, about their prophet. So this is dr. Hisham Jayat, <clears throat> excuse me. He is a Muslim doctor. He have a PhD in history. He have a book. It's called uh, the history of uh, uh, of the Dawah of the Muhammadan. And he's a Muslim, all right. And he is the one who is giving the reference and giving the proof that Muhammad, his real name is Qatham. So here they are discussing his uh, uh, his book, and he is talking about uh, the name of the Prophet that his real name have nothing to do with Muhammad. Muhammad is just a title he was given to himself or was given by his followers long after he claimed to be a prophet and you will see here this even the title says though if I if I take this to Google let me pause the link for you guys here in the text And I think uh, Phil in the text is posting for you something in English. I don't know if you can see it. You see, this is Islam online. This is Islam online. This is not a Christian online. And the article is there speaking about Muhammad. His real name is Qatham. And there is many, you know, many official Islamic news agencies uh, speaking of, of that, you know. Here we go. This is Islam uh, info. <clears throat> now, for sure, some of them they they will they will say this is not uh, uh, right. Some of them they say it's true. Uh, <clears throat> this is Islam that uh, Islam uh, K info. Uh, you know, but in this website they are trying to defeat it. The the the, the simple thing what happened. That Muhammad he used to have an uncle he died before before his birth his name is Khatham so when he <clears throat> came to uh, let, let's say his mother she gave birth to him according to the Islamic reference his uh, grandfather uh, called him Khatham that's all and that makes sense always those people when they they lose one member of the family and there's a new one born after it the first one is born after it they call him by the name of the one who is missing so the uncle before him, his name is Qatham. Muhammad is born after. So they called him by Qatham. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, you know, there's many reasons to believe that Muhammad name, regardless of the name of Muhammad is Qatham or not, uh, regardless of this uh, issue, Muhammad, he had many names. If we if you go right now and search, huh, you can search right now in English. It says the names of the Prophet Muhammad. He have seventy names. Sorry, he have uh, he have uh, ninety nine names. The names Prophet Muhammad. If Muhammad his name. Is Muhammad why he have 99 names obviously none of those are his names they are titles you know look here look here they come with a new they have a new uh, 
the 201 names <laughs> do you see it 201 names but other Muslim group they, they say that he have 99 names like Allah you know uh, let us see here <clears throat> Okay, let us see. The 99 names of Allah, 99 names of the Prophet Muhammad. Do you see it? So what is the name of Muhammad then? You know, why David does not have 99 names? Why Suleiman, he have one name? Why Moses have one name? Then we need to ask ourselves, why Muhammad, he have all those names? Why the Quran, the same Quran, Call Muhammad Muhammad in one verse and call Muhammad Ahmad in different verse. Ahmad is not the same as Muhammad. It's a close in the meaning, yes, but it's not the same name. So obviously, those are titles Muhammad he gave himself with, or he 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 gave himself to uh, 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 to accomplish uh, a new era in his life, to forget about who he is. Who he used to be he is a new person uh, let me see if I can find you other name Here, like this is an article. It, they are asking why why Muhammad was called Abi Kapsha. Muhammad is real name Abu Abi Kapsha. <laughs> this is additional name. I did not spoke about it in my book, but it's a real name. I mean, this is what they call him in Islamic books. They witness for that. And this is even can be found in Al Qurtubi. Let me see. Uh, Here we go. I will go to the Quran, Tafsir al Quran, which means this is written in Tafsir al Quran. <clears throat> uh, I'm just trying to find an official website. Well, this is Google. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is the official website. I'm just looking. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. Tafsir al Qurtubi. And here, and this is the page number. Uh, you see here in the Quran, speaking about a God, <laughs> which is supposedly Allah. But in fact, yes, it is Allah, but this is a pagan God. Let us go here. Hold on. <coughs> <We're> on. <coughs> if you go to chapter 53, verse number 49. Chapter 53, verse number 49. And you read the read any translation you wish that he is the Lord of is of Cirrus the mighty star now here the translation is not really uh, accurate uh, this is this is a God pagan God 
the Arab they used to worship and Muhammad he used to worship and Muhammad he was called Abu Kabsha who is Abu Kabsha if we go to the book of Al-Qurtubi he says the following <clears throat> and he is the Lord of Rabbu Shara Ashara Kaukab al Mudi Ashara is a is a planet which is a bright planet and he is the one appear in the Ajawza. I don't know what the translation of Ajawza in uh, if you know those uh, what they call them the one you for the luck I forgot you know I need to translate uh, so he like he is one of those groups who they, they used your like they read your fortune for you if you do those things so he is the Lord of this group and he is he is a, a plan to appear when it is so hot all right so he explained what, what uh, about this plan uh, and and the Arab they used to believe that uh, al Jawza and al Shara they are both our sisters and they are the sisters of a star called Suhail. Uh, and here it says, and he is the Lord of Ashara, that there is no other God by, by, but him. So he is the Lord of this star. And the Arab used to worship him. And then Allah, he told them uh, that he is the Lord of Ashara, is his Lord. And then he continues saying, and some they said the first one who was worshipping uh, uh, this uh, star his name is Abu Kabsha and he was one of the grandfathers of Muhammad and uh, like from his ancestor and then the Mushrikeen the people of Quraysh they used to call Muhammad Abu Kabsha when he start calling to worship Allah and he, uh, he, you know, he disagree with them. Now, here you will notice something very uh, missing in this story. If Muhammad is not worshiping the same of their God, and they just say that the Arab before Muhammad they used to worship this guy, sorry, this is star, and the first one who worship him, his name is Abu Kabsha. So why they are saying Muhammad is Abu Kabsha if that guy, he was worshiping the same God they worship? And here it says. That the Arab used to worship, and they believe that those two stars, or those two plants, they are they are sisters of the the star is called a, a Suhail. All right, and then and the, and the Arab used to worship. Here we go in front of my eyes. So now the Arab they worship. So why they want to call Muhammad Abu Kabsha unless he worship the same worship, the same as his grandfather? All right, and here actually they, they call him by this name. Let me see if I can find it in the hadith in this English website. Hold on, let us see. I don't think so, but you know, we'll try. Here we go, it's here. <laughs> but this is not, uh. Uh, this is not about Muhammad. This is Abu Kabsha, the real Abu Kabsha Muhammad. Uh, this is not about Muhammad, no. Uh, yeah, this is not about Muhammad. But anyway, this is in Al Qurtubi. As you see the reference, I'm, I'm going to post it in the chat so you guys you can grab it if anyone speak Arabic. You can have it there. So there is many names Muhammad was given. Uh, people they used to make fun of him. They used to call him names, and there is names he gave for him to give himself an honor. The same as he claimed that he is from Ishmael, and he claimed that he is the praised one, and he claimed he is Al Mustafa, which means the elect one. So he gave himself many names. Uh, <coughs> I will give an example of Muhammad what he said about himself. See here, here we go. Look, look at this. 
who is the one saying that Muhammad read with me guys if if Muhammad is the name then there is no need for the other names look what he said Malik related to me from Ab Ibn Shuhib from Muhammad Ibn Jubair Ibn um, etc the Prophet he said I have five names you have what five names I am Muhammad I am Ahmad I am Al Mahi I am uh, the uh, uh, one uh, okay and he is a I am Al Hashir <laughs> all right and I am Al Aqib okay now anyone really believe that Muhammad have five names any Muslim here they believe really Muhammad his mother she gave him five names or those are titles what do you think Muslims did his mother she gave him five names or those things he gave all those names are not his name obviously they are not his names so Muhammad he has given himself like here he's calling himself al Hashir al Hashir is, is Allah because supposedly Allah is the one who will gather people in the judgment day how he become al Hashir Muhammad mean the praised one so Muhammad claiming to be Allah for how how Muhammad is a man but yet he is the praised one you can ask any Muslim what Muhammad mean he will say to you the praised one what Ahmad mean the one you praised what al Mahi mean the eraser he will erase Christianity and he will erase Judaism how come he will not erase the, the Hindus and the Buddhas because he believed that Christians and the Jews are his enemy he's the devil So he is a hasher. He is the one who will gather all the people in the judgment day. Well, maybe he is a shaitan then. So and I am al-aqib. I am the I am the the one who came after. So all those are they cannot be names. Unless the Abdul he is dumb stubborn. He believed that those really are names. You know what I mean? If there is any Muslim here, don't agree. Are those our names of Muhammad? And you can search right now. We can go to Google and search. You will see that the Muslim they have ninety nine names of Muhammad. Some of them they even they say more than two hundred. Look what Muhammad he said in this hadith. I have many names. Notice here. Why Muhammad saying I am Muhammad? Uh, any, anyone notice with me what the problem here? Like, why I want to say I, I say I have many names, and I include my real name. Doesn't make sense. He is counting only the names which people they do not know. You know what I mean? It's like somebody says to you, okay, your name is a Christian, so why you are calling yourself Muhammad? You say, well, I have many names. I am Muhammad, I am Ahmad, I am Al-Mahi, I am etc., I am etc., I am etc. So he is counting all the names which is not his names. And this is from Sahih Muslim, and this is a Sahih Hadith. And why he have many names? Why, why, why even uh, uh, why Muhammad saying those are names? Those are not names. They are not because a person can have only one name. You see, the Muslim they say Allah have ninety nine names. That's false. That's a lie. The God of Islam have only one name. That is Lah. The rest are titles. The rest are titles. Just go and read one by one. It's just description of the God. The only one the Muslim do not know what they mean is the first one, Allah. What Allah mean? I change any Muslim to tell me what Allah mean. They don't know. Why? Because it's a name. And this name is the foreign name. <coughs> it is not an Arabic name. And this is why the Arab do not know what this word means. The rest are Arabian words. So they know what they mean.
do we have any Muslim want to say something? Yeah, like he is the deceiver, he is the revenge, he is the killer, he is etc. You know. <clears throat> Any Abdul? <coughs> Any brave Abdul? Have you ever heard of somebody, his, mo uh, his mother, she called him many names? Like what, he is born, she called him Ahmad and Muhammad? She called him Al-Mahi and Al-Aqib. Those obviously, they are religious names. Those are religious titles. Those are not a name of a person. It is a description of this person who claimed to be who claimed, what, what he claimed. You know, like, uh, some Christians they they think or because they don't you know have enough uh, knowledge they think that God of the Christians he have a name those are not really names in the whole Bible there is no names even like we say Jibreel Gabriel we say the Muslim they copy the name they call him Jibreel uh, Mikael uh, uh, Ishmael Abraham uh, uh, Jesus uh, Christ uh, Elohim those are not names this is a statement, this is a sentence. This is a description. There's no names there. Even Adam is not a name. Adam, Eve, uh, the, the, all the children of Adam, none of them is a name. They, they, you know, for you, because you are a foreign person who don't speak the language, it sounds like a name. You see, if you have a computer, and you all of you, you do, right? When you click at an icon, you click at an icon, but the fact behind the icon, there's a code. Do you agree? Like there's an icon in your computer that says photos. But this is what it, this is what it says. Let us say title, but behind there's a lot of photos. But this, folder is a very complicated coding but for us all what we know is what we care for is the simple thing what is this this is photo folder now the specialist he knew how this folder is made there's a lot of coding behind so when we say the computer or we call it windows you know but the fact it is coding it's not images even your image to have your computer is code you see even the TV the, the picture you watch is based on coding, certain kind of coding which make a picture for you come to be in the front of your eyes. So the Bible is the same. It is not a name. Everything is a description. And this is how the language is even based. Like even when your parents, they call you a name, the fact it's not a name. It's a description. Like, you know, uh, when somebody called his son a lion. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> lion is a lion, you know, but he is describing you to be, uh, obviously you are not an animal like a lion, right? So he's trying to say, this is a guy who is a brave like a lion, strong like a lion, scary like a lion. So he's making a statement. All right? Uh, this person he want to call him uh, his daughter uh, it's uh, you know uh, uh, etc name that that name is a description it's not really a name the bible is more than just the example we gave you because most of the bibles which we call them names are contained of more than one word that's why you see gabriel mikael ishmael so those are, uh, it's a statement, it's a, it's a phrase, uh, it's an expression of something have to do with religion, not a name. 
all right uh, but most of us you know we take it in a simple way uh, because you know we don't speak Hebrew and when they say to us Adam okay Adam his name is Adam but this is not a name you know? Adam it's a word mean man somebody his name is man but the Bible is giving us that the first the first person actually the first even even Eve was called Adam first person was a created is called Adam this is his kind this is the kind of Adam <clears throat> anyway uh, Muhammad obviously he is trying to copy from a Christianity and from Judaism and trying to give himself a title because all those who they have let us say glorified by people they have a title And Muhammad, he don't want to be just a person like the rest without being a, a person with title. So he's trying to give himself a glory. So he started from the highest name by claiming that he is the praised one. Simply, he is making himself equal to God. This name alone is enough to insult anyone who have a little, I mean, little brain to ask himself a, a very simple question. If Muhammad is a slave of Allah, how his name is Muhammad? How the Muslims accept that their prophet, his name is the praised one? Which one we should be, you know, if you are a Muslim, ask yourself, which one really you should be praising, Muhammad or God? If Muhammad is God, then you praise Muhammad, then you call him Muhammad. The name of Muhammad in so itself is an insult to, 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 the, to, the, to the God the Muslims they believe in if they claim to have one God. Why Allah, his name is not Ahmad and Muhammad? Don't Allah deserve the name Muhammad? Is not qualified, the praised one? So Muhammad is the praised one, Allah is what, the praised two? You know what I mean? You imagine I claim that I am a prophet and they say to you, I say to you, I am the glorified. <laughs> what do you mean you are the glorified? What do you mean? Worship on God, his name is Allah, but I am the praised one. It doesn't make sense. If you remember, <clears throat> Muhammad he said that the most Allah he hate the most name he hate is the one who call himself the king of kings now every human being and in the time of Muhammad is no different knows who is the one is called the king of kings that is supposedly the Christians believe that he is Jesus let us see if I can find the hadith in English you can search it you know it's not a big deal to find it's like it should be easy to find actually You know, so the the king of kings. Okay, why Allah he hate the one who his name is the king of kings? And do do Muhammad, Muhammad knows or Qasim? Do he knew that this is the title was given to Jesus? This is not a name. Or sure he know? Here we go. Allah apostles say the most awful name in Allah's sight on the day of resurrection that will be of uh, uh, a man calling himself Malikul Muluk, the King of Kings. But the Muslims they call their 
the, the their kings they called them caliphate what would that mean that Muhammad was the king of kings <laughs> you, you know what the caliphate mean caliphate the one who inherit the the, the, the successor uh, uh, why they are the successor of Muhammad Muhammad is dead why they are like I will be a successor for someone before me but all the caliphate of Islam they are only successor to Muhammad you know what I mean like let us say there's a caliphate today his name is the the stupid Erdogan and before him there was there's a caliphate his name is Erdogan and before him there is another caliphate his name al-Baghdadi Erdogan who came after al-Baghdadi he is not a successor for al-Baghdadi no he is a successor for Muhammad for Muhammad is the king of kings of, of, in, in Islam so Muhammad he wanted to place himself as God he is the law he is the God he is the eraser he is the one who forgive he is the one who even in the judgment day intercession is not allowed to anyone except to Muhammad the first one who will be resurrected from the grave is Muhammad the first one who will enter heaven is Muhammad the one who his name written in the in the chair of Allah is Muhammad only you see Muhammad he said a lot the Muslim they say to you Jesus is a prophet the great prophet in Islam but the name of Jesus is not written in the chair of Allah according to Muslims neither Abraham neither Musa neither anyone the name of Muhammad is written all over the chair of Allah so obviously Allah he worship Muhammad actually you know the hadith where it says that uh, Muhammad he claimed that Allah he told him through the angel Jibreel that if not you Muhammad the whole world is not created let me find you the hadith if not you I will not create the whole earth so who is Allah? Who is Muhammad? Obviously, Muhammad is God. Read with me. <clears throat> Here the question he's asking: What do you say about this hadith? If not you, I created nothing. I, I did not create the whole world. So this is supposedly Allah. He said that to Muhammad. And here the Muslim they are responding. And this is Sunnah.org. This is not a Christian website. Let me post it for you. In the chat so you can read by your own the whole universe is made for the sake of Muhammad Allah himself he created nothing but for Muhammad the prophets all of them they are created for the sake of Muhammad the earth the mountains the trees the sky the the, the oxygen the water the fish the the animals everything the galaxies all of it is made for the sake of Muhammad so who is Muhammad it's very obvious that this religion Enforcing Muhammad to replace God, but yet they call him a slave of God But in fact Allah himself is a servant of, of, of Muhammad You see what is the purpose based on this story in the front of us if everything created for the sake of Muhammad? What is the purpose of a creation? Muhammad What is the purpose of existence of Allah is to make Muhammad happy? This is what the story is saying to us You know what I mean? Look what he says here. Uh, uh, is it is the is the prophet of Allah the reason for the creation or not? Are are there any uh, other hadith that uh, support this uh, narration? The answer the scholar is answering now. Indeed, the prophet of Allah is the reason for the creation of Adam and the universe. If the prophet of Allah was not exist then uh, uh, the arsh the arsh the chair of Allah the, the, even the chair of Allah will not exist <laughs> the board where Allah he saved his uh, memory supposedly the pen the skies the earth the heaven the hell the trees the stones and all other creatures would not exist do you see it this is the devil see the Muslim they fool us they say Muhammad is a servant of God 
but in fact Muhammad is a claiming to be God and actually Allah himself he worked for Muhammad what what is the purpose of Allah is exist is exist and based on this story why Allah is exist to create for Muhammad those things if Muhammad is not exist those things will not exist so what Allah will be doing sitting by himself so just just for the sake of Muhammad so Allah is creating things just for Muhammad so he is just an employee who work for Muhammad isn't it obvious this man he claimed to be God and Allah is nothing but a servant for him here they continue you know they said that the Prophet of Allah claim that Allah he said to him when Adam uh, uh, made the mistake he commits sin in heaven he said oh Allah I ask you I ask for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me what the heck Adam Adam huh? in the in the in when he was in heaven he is asking Allah to forgive him for the sake of Muhammad so Muhammad what Actually, many of this, the Muslims, they believe that Muhammad was a light. Why they say he's a light? Because the Quran say he's a, he's so he's a light. And they believe that not only Muhammad is a light, that the Muhammad and his family, they are lights from the forehead of Allah. Why is that? Because the Quran says that Muhammad is a Siraj and Muniran. He's a light. The Quran says that. All right. وَدَاعِنَ إِلَى اللَّهِ بِإِذْنِهِ وَسِرَاجًا مُنِيرًا Muhammad is what? Is a light. So the Shia, specifically the Shia here, they concentrate in this verse and they say uh, uh, the Quran confirm that Muhammad and they in the Shia they extend that not only to Muhammad they say all his families are not human they are made of light and they used to be in the forehead of Allah you see here the translation is not really you know is uh, not really a correct translation Yeah, they don't translate correctly. False translation. <clears throat> so, you do not need to be a genius to find out that obviously in this article in front of us, is speaking about a man his name is Muhammad Muslim claim that he is a prophet of God but the fact everything is made for the purpose of this man the earth the heaven the creation the stars even the prophet 124,000 prophet even all of us the billions of a human being they are just made for the sake of Muhammad and as you see here it says that even the chair of Allah was made for just Allah will, uh, will be without a chair if not Muhammad, you believe it? <laughs> Allah will be sit, is standing up all this time if Muhammad does not exist. Allah revealed to the Prophet Isa. Now, Isa, here we go. Even Isa been told about Muhammad. Look what it says. Oh, Isa, I have uh, have faith in Muhammad. So Allah is ordering Isa to believe in Muhammad. Look at this. And order your ummah. To do the same if Muhammad was not in existence I would not have created Adam nor I would have made heaven or hell what so he's saying Isa Isa you are no one you you yourself is exist for a reason to believe in Muhammad Muhammad is the purpose tell your people to do the same for heaven and earth and universe is made only for Muhammad 
all of you does not count <laughs> what do you want more you know do we need to provide more proofs that Muhammad he is making the Muslims worship him look at this here uh, Jibreel came to the Prophet of Allah and said to him Allah says I have not created anyone who is more honored to me that you like what <laughs> why for he is a child molester for he is a killer for he is a liar for he is a homo for what I have created the world and all that is therein so they the rank that you possess I would not have created the world if I had not created you all of this is not enough to prove that Muhammad is claiming to be God as you see Allah himself is serving Muhammad the purpose of Allah existence is just to make Muhammad happy you see imagine I have God and then this God he says to me do you know why I created this world I say why so for you for your sake you know here the relationship is like somebody is a lover no huh? and he is like he is madly in love with the women and he said to her do you know why I bought this house for you do you know why I have this bedroom for you do you know what I bought this car for you do you know why I am exist for you <laughs> So you will notice here that Allah is submitting to Muhammad. You know what I mean? Therefore, Allah, when He creates things, He is not thinking about anything except I'm going to create this to Muhammad. Why I created the earth for Muhammad? And then I go to the earth and I created the trees and animals and insect and grass and water and cloud and I create everything just for Muhammad and then I went to the sky and I make stars and I made galaxies and many galaxies and billions of stars for Muhammad and yet Muhammad is the slave of God huh? We have a guy here, his name is Interfaith. Interfaith, why you don't call me? What do you think? Guys, do you think this guy Interfaith, he have the courage to call? Do you think he have courage to call? The Muslims is called, call, you know, this is what they do. Look, they try to change the topic. They, they post for you a verse from the Bible, but they cannot answer what we have in the screen. Call me, and I will answer you about what you post for me from the Bible. I will be so happy to answer you. In the same time, you answer me about what we see in the front of us. Your God, Allah, existence is just to serve Muhammad. What do you say? Nothing. You don't dare to say anything. They don't have answers. They are copy-paste nation. This is why, this is why, he right away when he come here, this guy, he don't answer anything we said, which is a clear proof that Muhammad is a person who he claimed to be God and the Muslims, they worship him. All what he is worried about, look what the verse here is saying. Okay, what the verse they are saying? What is that? Call me, let us laugh. But because he is so worried, if he call, what will happen to him? People, they will know right away who is the idiot. Call me about this topic, no problem. Call me. Don't you want to call me about this topic? Call me. Let us see how good you are. Do you think, guys, this guy will call? You see, right away, he don't want to talk about Islam. The Muslim, right away, in order to avoid a disaster, because they don't know what to say. I mean, it's obvious. Muhammad is a liar, and he is a person who is claiming to be God. And they cannot answer that. So let us change the topic and talk about the Bible. Even call me and let us talk about the verse you post for me. In the same time, after I answer you, you have to answer me. Happy? Happy? I'm sure not happy. You will not do it. Because you know, you know that you are not no match. 
you know that you are following a scam and you are following a false prophet this is why you don't dare the whole universe the Kaaba was created for Muhammad Mecca was created for Muhammad the vagina of your mother was made for Muhammad the penis of your father is made for Muhammad this is what does it says for us what kind of cult this cult is and yet they say that Muhammad is just a servant of God a servant of God but God is serving him day and night and he created the whole world for him this is a this is how a servant of God is that God had nothing to do except to make him happy who worship who who adore who Allah himself he wrote by his hand the name of Muhammad all over his chair why is it crazy do you think Allah is a crazy your God what is the problem what is the problem when you see a story like this that Allah he wrote the name of Muhammad over the chair of, uh, of, over his chair I mean why what is exactly the purpose you see here Adam when he commits sin he asked Allah to forgive him for the sake of Muhammad Allah said to Adam what how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not created him yet Adam said oh Allah when you created me and it blew into my spirit I lifted my head and so written on the arsh which means the chair of Allah the throne la ilaha illallah Muhammad the stupid of Allah like what the heck Adam he speak Arabic and he know how to write how to read and he is just made and Muhammad who is born Thousands of years after, according to Muslims, he did not know Arabic. And by the way, Arabic was exist in the time of Adam. <laughs> Who is the dump here? Huh? Who is the dump? So look, look, guys. Allah did not create anything yet. Adam himself is not created yet. Allah right away he got a chisel and he started book 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 he's he's writing the name of Muhammad in his wooded chair Muhammad I am Muhammad I'm going to write Muhammad in my chair La ilaha illallah Muhammad what the heck this God he need to go to a hospital before he created the universe he start writing the name of Muhammad in his chair Don't you think this God he have something wrong with him? I am surprised that Muhammad God did not write the name of Kurdishan in his chair. Huh? Where where are you, Prince of Darkness? You are in the darkness. You are the one in the darkness. You are a blind man following a blind man, a man who cannot read and write according to you. This is your teacher. A man who Allah changed. And by the way, when Muhammad is born, a light came from the vagina of his mother. This is the first nuclear weapon. And as usual, nobody saw and witnessed the light coming except Muhammad mother. And Muhammad mother, she never said that, but Muhammad said that after she, his mother, she died. Obviously, it's a fiction story made by Muhammad. And you are talking about uh, the Prince of Darkness? Why you don't call me uh, interfaith? Why you don't call me? What the problem? Call me, let everybody uh, see what you want to say. Don't you want, want people to see the truth? Call me why Allah, he wrote his name in the name of Muhammad in the chair. I want to know. Why? Who is Muhammad and why Allah imagine Allah himself before he create anything huh? and he is God supposedly he bought a chisel from Home Depot and he start digging the name of Muhammad in his wooded chair all over why what Allah trying to say to us 
by writing the name of Muhammad over here. We cannot even see the chair. What's the point? Huh? Allah he worship Muhammad or Muhammad he worship Allah. Even the chair of Allah is guys, maybe maybe some of you don't understand what, what they are saying to us here. Read with me, please. Do you see here where it says that the arsh of Allah was created just for him? Maybe some of you don't understand. Do you see the word kursi here? Arsh and kursi. Let me zoom in. Arsh means the throne, kursi means a chair. So if not Muhammad, the throne of Allah is not created. So what is the purpose of creating the chair? Because Allah He need to write the name of Muhammad in it. <laughs> Why why Allah have a throne? The answer is very simple because he need something to write the name of the prophet in it otherwise there's a problem. The chair of Allah is exist just because Allah he needed something to write the name of Muhammad in it. That's it. So why you call it a throne? If not Muhammad, Allah will be standing until now. Can somebody buy Muhammad the God a copy book so he can write the name of Muhammad somewhere? Not only that, it says here that even the, the board where Allah he saved his memory, which is a funny story to say that God he have a board, he write in it his Quran. Which is obviously proof that the God of Islam is fiction because God he have a memory Nobody can delete why you need to write a board and then he plays the board between the two eyes of the angel Israfil <laughs> The the law which means the board and the column which means the pen and The chair of Allah and the sky and the earth and the heaven and the hell and the trees and the stones I mean should I say more? And the shit and the penises and the testicles and the sperm and everything is made for the sake of Muhammad. We got it. Why? Who is the Muslim? I tell us why. Even your penis is made for the sake of the Prophet Muhammad. Even your mother vagina is made for the sake of your Prophet Muhammad. Your mother, she have a nip nipples because of Muhammad, not because of anything everything is made for the sake of Muhammad even my boogers is made for the sake of the Prophet Muhammad which make it holy boogers how stupid this religion is and yet they say to us oh we don't worship Muhammad he is just a slave of Allah Arsh is a is a throne. The word Arsh means a throne. So the throne of Allah. If not Muhammad, Allah have no throne. Allah will be uh, trying to find somewhere to sit, but he cannot find a place. <laughs> Imagine if we go and ask, let us say a king, why you have a throne? He say, if not Muhammad, I will not make a throne. Oh, thank you very much. <coughs> Any Abdul? Why the cockroaches are made for the sake of Muhammad? Why the pigs are made for the sake of Muhammad? Why uh, 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 the poopoo is made for the sake of Muhammad? Okay, I mean that's very humble. You see how Muhammad humble? Everything is humble. I mean, why why Abraham is made for the sake of Muhammad? Why Moses is made for the sake of Muhammad? Man. Muhammad is a very humble man. He just made everything made for him, and he is a humble, servant, slave of Allah. <laughs> Why iPhone is made for the sake of Muhammad? Why iMac is made for the sake of Muhammad? Why porn? Porn is made for the sake of Muhammad. Because everything is made for the sake of Muhammad. Why Playboy magazine is made for the sake of Muhammad? 
Any comment from the followers of Muhammad? Huh? Why the Jews are made for the sake of Muhammad? Why Arik Sharon is made for the sake of Muhammad? Why Israel is made for the sake of Muhammad? Why Trump is made for the sake of Muhammad? Why Kardashian is made? Oh boy, this is for the sake of Muhammad for sure. He like big asses. And he like whores. Any Abdul want to explain to us why everything is made for the sake of Muhammad? Huh? Who is this guy, Muhammad? Don't you see something wrong there? Is Allah is made for the sake of Muhammad? Yes, obviously. Because as you see, Allah himself, he have no reason. What is, guys, based on this, what is the reason of Allah to exist? You know what I mean? Based on this, everything is made for the sake of Muhammad. So what is the only purpose for Allah to be exist for the sake of Muhammad? Allah himself is exist for the sake of Muhammad. Just to make Muhammad happy. <laughs> what a stupid religion. Why gas is made? Why somebody fought for the sake of Muhammad? Why pigs are made for the sake of Muhammad? I mean, if there's no pigs, Muhammad, he will he will play with but He will say what? He have to say something forbidden? It's for the sake of Muhammad. Here we go. So Allah made pigs. So Muhammad, he will say to you, it's forbidden to eat pigs. Well, now we know why pigs are made. I see. Yes. Any Abdul? Anyone? Kalu? Why Las Vegas is made for the sake of Muhammad? Anyway, obviously nobody there. You know, they told us that there's a Muslim will come and, and call me today and debate me, but obviously nobody show up. So I want to apologize. Uh, I'm not sure tomorrow if I can do live podcast, but in case I apologize because uh, I'm leaving early morning. I'm traveling tomorrow, uh, but I will try uh, because you know in, in, I will be in the hotel. Uh, I will see like uh, how the rooms are. If my voice will go far, then I will not be able to do it. We will see how quiet it is. Uh, so I want to say, guys, thank you for being here today. And sadly, the Muslim did not show up as usual, as he promised to call me, to, to call us. As one of you, he invited him, and they told me he will come over and debate. So uh, until I see you tomorrow, if I can, I say to you, may the Lord bless you, and I will update you about my trip later. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And let Allah, the servant of Muhammad, help the Muslims, Abdul, when they will be shipped to hell with their false prophet, who he claimed to be God, and his God is just working for his sake. If Allah is working for Muhammad, you Muslims worshipping who? You must be stupid to believe in such a man, he himself claiming to be God, but yet he claimed in the same time to be a servant of God. So he is God and he is a slave in the same time. Come. Christ is Lord. Islam is Paul. See you soon again. Bye bye.